Yes, good morning. Welcome to Straight Up Today, the 5th of June. And, um, welcome to Straight Up, yes. Broadcast from the studio of New Stock here on the Mona campus of the University of West Indies. Heard all over. Uh, you're welcome, and you know that you're. Your text messages are just as welcome as your phone call. We really want to get all of the text messages. Because sometimes some people tell me so they don't hear them text messages. But just as important as a phone call. And I really should be doing them earlier rather than later so that when people hear the text messages, they can um, comment on the text message and probably lead a discussion on something that the text messages bring up. Because mostly public affairs, the things that interest the public, the things that the public discuss, the things that affect everybody, everyone, to some extent, to one, to, 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 either more or less. What you want? What you want? Most people conscious of themselves and conscious of them surroundings them community them environment want want the best and another thing them want not to be put at disadvantage in a Jamaican terms not to be disadvantaged people coming from out of nowhere and assuming authority to disadvantage and all them kind of way there. But people don't want that and human beings have very similar needs all over the world and all through the ages. Same needs, very similar needs human beings have. Like, like most animals, human beings have some other needs. Even animals have need to express themselves. So, you know, I know, um, you know, I know domination by no one. No one of domination. No one of domination by no one. No group, no individual, no one. I don't know which sense of a human being one domination. You have some people in a them, in a them playground. When them playing, them like to be dominated. They know them take turns and then dominate. Them like that, them can have that. That they're in a play, play, play situation. Or some of them take it serious. Some of them like it in life too. So, a lot of human beings like to be dominated. And prefer to be told what to do more than have to exercise their own mind and exercise their own decision making powers. Some of them feel like they don't have any decision making powers. One reason why you might feel that way is because you don't exercise it. And you're not aware of it. Not aware of it. Decision making powers. And if you're out of practice with it, you have a right to doubt yourself. Because you might not be familiar with the right way to come to good decisions that are not only in your interest but in the interest of of um, everyone around you so people like that um, they man job being dominated maybe more than half of the human beings in the world don't mind being dominated as long as other people making decisions for them but that is not the normal human heritage. That is not what human beings inherit. To bow under other people or bow under groups and to accept direction from other people for your whole life. Foolishness. I hear, um, I hear, I don't get to watch, but I hear saying at the parliament, one member of parliament, a question the next one. And saying that the way how some of them behave, them should be removed from responsibility. Remember, PJ Patterson tell you the other day, say. Not because somebody either escaped criminal conviction or never faced criminal charges. That is no reason to regard them as being qualified and fit to hold office. So, someone else should try to find out, one of the member of parliament, to try to find out from another member of parliament. Why them no move? Why them no move our next member of parliament from certain office and certain responsibilities? Seeing that um, 
them cause problem all the while and seem like them want to do things out of order, do things them own way. The making of a little dictator. The making, they are seeing the makings over the last 20 years of a little dictator. Little dictator, so spoil boy going on, spoil boy. We get approval from either them nanny or them mother or them pupa. Them tend to become a bully and then later assume the right to be a dictator. You can imagine when all that they one day. If and when that the one they get a certain authorization, dictatorship, I, I, I feel like I'm going to bring down the revolution in Jamaica when they come, come try him dictatorship. That is the one where I believe going to spur off the revolution in Jamaica that Jamaica need. So anything will happen, you know, happen uh, Catalyst. That cat is a catalyst. I say that cat is a catalyst going to bring down the revolution upon those who need to be overturned. So go on same way. So Holness said to the Prime Minister, who is not elected by the people of Jamaica. She is elected by the people in our constituency and the people in our party. Three set of people elect her. The people in our constituency, the people in our party, and the members of parliament, in the parliament, who is on our side. That's the three set of people elect her. The people in our constituency elect her, make sure they come in our parliament. Then the members are, not even the members of the party, some of the delegate them in the party elect she as them president. And then the rest of the members of parliament, the majority of them elect them, elect she as for, for them prime minister, not elected by the people of Jamaica. So the leader of the opposition who reached in office a very similar way like she, ask her, what about the future of um, Paul? Well, why should not move him since him foul up so much things? She said she have no intention. No intention to move Paul. Because she, a him, she a groom. And a him, PJ, a groom long time. No, I have no intention. Make away from Israel vibration. Bad intention. Yeah, that's Israel vibration from back in the mid 70s there. Bad intention, them don't cite it long time. Bad intention. So them have groomed this little, this little dictator. Groom them have groomed this little dictator. Uh, you are going to bring down the revolution upon your party. With your dictatorship. I see a cartoon in the observer. Cartoon in the observer with them a depict Damian Crawford. I say him is the revolution leader for PN people. Well, I'm right, for PN people, people. Oh, not for the people. Revolution leader for the PN people, people. And um, they put on lipstick on the mouth. I wonder why they put on lipstick on the mouth. The cartoonist. The cartoonist name, Clovis. Yes. And then in the Observer now on next um, the editorial I say The courtroom bully can't have it his way all the time. They may refer to KD Knight. Courtroom bully. So KD Knight um leader defense of the people was accused of um misappropriating and falsifying and defrauding ATL funds and all kind of thing. But the editor uh, um the editorial uh, um, observer, I refer to Katie Knight as a courtroom bully. Uh, them don't know no other bully. Eh, the editor and the whole staff observer supposed to know how other bully. Bully, cause some might bully white and some black, some blue. You don't know no more bully. We are bully, we are bully more than Katie Knight. A common nickname for bully all over the world where English is spoken is the word butch, but in some slang butch mean a different thing. Some slang butch mean a aggressive female who like to dominate other female, but the original um, 
Not original, the most recent before that. Well, from me, a little boy come up. The, the, the nickname Butch or the word Butch referred to. A kind of bully. Bully. So the observer them only know okay the night as bully. Them don't know how to bully. If you know all bully, all different bully. Yeah, so um so that is that. So what you want? People must know themselves and know what they will allow and what they will not allow. And a lot of us will not allow no dictatorship or no bullyism to shape our life and our existence. We will not allow it. So come on, bring it on then. With your bad intention. But I just want to encourage people who see themselves as equal to anyone in the earth to just keep up and don't be downhearted and nothing upon the horizon must faze you. Nothing must faze you. Because really and truly there is no such thing as bad weather. Bad luck and all them things there. Weather is good. Whether it rain or whether it shine, weather is good. And whatever happens is not no luck. Luck is just a figment of the imagination, and just an expression that human beings use to explain things or describe things that them can't explain. Luck is an expression human beings use to describe things that them can't explain. Talking about luck. Talking about bad weather. And all them way. You have bad road, but you're not a bad weather. Yes, you can play the numbers to me. Yesterday, I didn't have much opportunity to make a phone call because we had extended um, time with visitors and guests, like what it is sometimes. But I have a chance to catch up back little by little, day by day, starting today. Straight up. Yes, good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good yeah, what go on? Fine, thank you. Well, I, 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 didn't, I didn't hear your open remarks this morning because I was watching the President of the United States. Yeah. In a news conference, at a news conference in, in Canada, he, he and the Prime Minister of Canada, of Britain. Yeah. I didn't hear your open remarks. And what they was doing? Yeah, they, they, they was talking about him. Some, something uh, and that guy where, where they're free from that soldier guy where they're free from Afghanistan from where? Afghanistan yeah mm. Obama say you know you know the, the Republican the, is fighting him over it saying what? he, he say he, he shouldn't do it because the, the man when 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 free from over Cuba there yeah the five the five um, terrorists mm hmm Free five terrorists for one for one American soldier. And swap, yeah. Yeah. So, so the Republican in, in the United States, uh, I fight him down. Yeah. But he said this man he will he will apologize for nothing when do. Yeah. Because when him send out him soldier them, go up and why he would like each one of them turn back home. Return. Yeah. yeah. But another thing in Jamaica. Yeah. We we are the the leader of of, of our opposition. One is yesterday in Parliament. It was a very shameful way behaving like a woman. What him do? Quarreling and behaving very badly. It's a lucky thing to push at him to never go down in that road with him. Hold on, you, hold on. You said that woman is, shame, is behaving very shameful? Yeah, man. We are one of those. No, you said that woman. Hold on. You said that woman behaving very shameful? No, what I'm saying, man. No, you said that him behaving was shameful, yeah, like, very shameful like, man. Like, like a woman. Yeah, the only so, thing left him is to throw him, 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 to run, run him head. Yeah, but you say that woman be very shameful. Sometimes woman be of them kind of way there, yes. But not man. Not man. Oh, so woman be of shameful, but man don't be of shameful. I man. <laughs> yes, cooler. You said the way the man was behaving. No, but. I hear shameful. that already, you're repeating, but you're not explaining to me if it's woman be of shameful, but, but you did say that man be don't be of shameful, by woman. Be shameful. Well, well, now your petticoat is showing. Uh, but, but, and I'm saying to you, it's the lucky thing for just him to never follow him and go down that road because you know she's a woman when afraid and a man or a girl. So you say she don't be shameful? No, she wasn't. She, de she never go overboard. But you say she can be that way? Yeah, she can be. How you know? How you know? How, she do it many times? 
He said many times. She said what? She do not afraid of no man. No, no but apart no from wife. that, apart from that, she ever behaved that way? Yeah. She ever behaved shameful? Yeah, you remember the time no, when No, don't ask me if I remember not. No, ask if she ever behaved shameful. You talk. Ask if she ever behaved shameful. The time when to tell... No, 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 no. We're, we're taking too much time. But your petty quote is showing. <laughs> but what I am saying to no, you... No, you say it already. Thank you. Uh, All right. back. Good morning. Welcome to State of Hello. Uh, good morning. Morning and welcome. Yeah. Oldness um, seems to be uh, what you call doorbell bright. Because, um, and there's a stupid article in one of the newspapers this morning. Why are you talking up in your nose? I'm not talking up in my nose. Why should I do that? Oh. Um, I as I said, oldness seems to be very doorbell bright. And there's a stupid article this morning in the Gleaner. Now, this project, which is up and running again, thank God, um, was they had it under their purview for the, within those four Who named they? Huh? Who named they? The JLP administration had it in their purview. Let's go for a break. Welcome back to Straight Up. Good morning and welcome back to Straight Up. Yes, hello. Hold on. You, you remember you did vomit me out one time? Remember I did what? Vomit me out one time. What is the relevance of that? Because you return to your vomit like a dog. Uh, well, um, your opinion, you're entitled to it. Like you're all, um, that's why I was talking up in your nose. Can I finish what I was saying? No, that's why I was talking up in your nose that you never know, so it's the same arm. That, I that, don't that, talk that. up in my nose and there's no need to. We, um, on the project. All right, let's go to another call. Let's go to another call. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Jerry. Yes, sir. How are you, Prime Minister for Jamaica? The uh, present time? Me. Hey. Portia Simpson. No, man. I wonder why them bleep him. What? What do you say? Hello, are you there? Are you there? Not there. He says not Portia Simpson is the Prime Minister. All right, open with call us back. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Jerry. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing, ma'am? Oh, nearly I. Rest up all right. Yes, ma'am. I used to last the first. Yeah. I was listening to your rebroadcast last night because I never catched it during the day. Yeah. Okay, Jerry. And you were talking about Satan. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Well, and, and, and I also play What's New Pussycat. Yes, I heard that. And you were talking about purring. Purring, yeah. That. And your perfume that exude. And my perfume that, that that's called, the, it's called the hormone, you know. Oh, the uh, hormone. I can't think of the name of the hormone right now. Yeah, it come out, in a, some of it not a civet cat, but I do, that are the male one. Yeah, it comes in the male one too, you know. Yeah. Okay, but I was, um, I had a lesson here a long time, but I didn't know how to bring it about. Yeah. But since you was talking last night, it brings it about. Wow. And I just want to remind you that you're still the light at the end of the tunnel. Who is the light? You. Are you? Yeah, yeah. You are, you was tunneling, tunneling through to me? Huh? You were tunneling through to me? Oh, I was in the mud. Okay. And I went towards the light. Yes. And after I went towards the light, made the decision to go towards the light. Yes. You you are what I received. Nice. Okay, but you see, Emperor Lucifer has the title of Emperor. A true? Yeah. And he works with Satan Chaya and Agarep. Oh, yeah? And they control Europe and Asia. Oh, yeah? Okay. Then you have a, a Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Yeah. And you have a next one, Tarchi Machi. Yeah. And you have a next one called Flurity. And their their um title is Prince. Yeah. And they control Africa. Oh, yeah, said to me. Yes, ma'am. And then you have a next one called As Tara. Yeah. And, and you have a Sarge. Sargetanus, yeah. and you have a Nebrus, and they control 
North and South so who, America. So who discovered those things? Um, it, it comes from the Catholic dogma. Oh, so it's dogma. Dogma. Dogma, that's why it is. Dogma. Yes. But there's something in everything. Yeah. So you have to pick sense from nonsense. No, me prefer pick out nonsense out of sense. Okay. So, you have Lucifuge, Ruffercall, and he's the Prime Minister. And eh? he controls wealth and treasure. I do. Okay. And then you have the Satan Chaya. Alright, but we're not going to spend too much time on study, on study Babylon and Satan, though. Yeah, but you have to know, say... No, I don't have, no, I don't have to know, say... control of women, control who, who, who of... Who control women? Hold on, hold on. Who control women? Excuse me? Who is a control woman? Oh, you like that one, right? No, I don't... No, what I said, who... who is a a Satan control woman. No, no, foolishness. Satan child. Foolishness. 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 Aglerip. Foolishness. Also. No, foolishness. Foolishness. Complete rat. Okay. But um, call me back again soon. Thank you. All right. Good all right. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Morning, Mr. Jerry. Yes, sir. How are you doing? I just want to ask you two questions. Why is it that Beta Wanga got is, is unacceptable on the program? And one other thing, because I assume my credit soon finished, who are you referring to when you say that um, they could be dictators, they become prime minister? Not, not could be. I'll, I'll, um... The PNP is long time since um since them jettisoned Norman Manley and after Michael Manley leaving disgust in 1992, they're shaping up to have a dictatorship over Jamaica. Um, uh, you know, dictatorship yeah. over Jamaica and the and the and the the the, 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 the candidate for perfect it. Both PJ and um and Porsche are grooming for come. Yes, I yes. Mr. Jeremy, cut off any time. Explain why Beta and Wanga got not uh, not acceptable. Acceptable where? On the program, you cut them off all the while. No, allow them, allow them, allow them. Allow, if you never allow them, you would near them look well. Allow them. Even after even after tell them don't come back, we still allow them. They are in suspense. Hello, are you there? Yeah, they are in suspense. You know even the feces when it is a liquid. It in a suspense, you know, in a suspension. Feces and liquid is held in suspension. Are them that? Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Well, we have some text messages. Sorry. Okay, Jerry, you were right long time. No, you were right. Long time, them are trying to fire Professor Bain because Dr. Gomez said no demonstration can change it. This one coming wrong for him. You see how she proud? You said, oh, Dr. Gomez, proud. To say, I never hear she say, you know, I was taking your word with it. You say, how she proud to say, no demonstration can change it. Proud, you know. Because they are guaranteed of their job. Once them ally with that international gay lobby, they are guaranteed jobs for life. In the so-called human rights movement. And all of the different so civil, civil society movement. All of them, where you see, um, bellowing and... Uh, and celebrating beings firing, they are guaranteed jobs for life once them is in that alliance. Minority rule them won't come up away. That's why it's a member join Jamaican for justice you now. Probably that one bomb bomb if me join that I'm going there. One bomb bomb inside of there. That's why I don't join it. You see how them proud of you say that now? Get hence. Next one, Bongo. Who and when were you introduced to Rastafari? You mean by whom? Who and when were you introduced to Rastafari? And what exactly did Bob Marley mean when he said he feel like bombing a church? He felt like throwing a bomb into place where them call church, but it's not church. Church building and a church. But he felt like throwing a bomb into some church building at a certain time. That was then. Next one. Uncle Jerry, I don't see why the Prime Minister should fire Paul with. Sometimes I think the JLP leader has some stupid questions coming from Peter. I wonder if I'm Peter Phillips. I wonder if I'm Peter Phillips. Better you call and discuss with me. You tell me say you don't see why the Prime Minister should fire Paul with. Sometimes, sometimes 
the JLP leader has some stupid question. Call and discuss with me. I not defend JLP leader or nothing. But let us discuss now whether the Prime Minister, if she did have any morals, would fire Paul well. Call and let us discuss it. Next one. Good morning, Jerry. Trust me. This is the program Jamaica Radio needs. If my family and I do not tune in each day, our day is not complete. Thanks for your effort in making Jamaica a bigger, better place. Big up to Cathy, CJ, Ika, and Violet, who tune in all the time, come from Jeannie. Well, thank you very much to you, Jeannie, and to Cathy, CJ, Ika, and Violet. Thank you very much. Next one. Good morning, Mr. Small. Do you agree that all Jamaican Prime Ministers should be book bright? Yeah, them should be bright in every way. I agree, yes. Them should be bright in every way. Next one, Jerry. If, as you say, it is legal that the police can stop a motorist and search a car without a warrant, can they then go to anyone's house without a warrant and conduct a search? If not, what is the difference? And they both private properties? I don't make the law. You ask me if they can do it legally. I don't make the law. You ask me if they can do it legally. And I believe them can do it legally. I'm not a lawyer, though I must be right. But I believe them can do it legally. I don't tell you I believe, I be agree with this, that or the other. You ask me if I think it, they can do it legally. I believe they can. And if the police or the security in any country, or even the neighbors, even the citizens in a country hear say some man pack some gun in a car and go and do some destructive thing, they have a right to stop that car and search it. And if they're not sure which car it is, they have the right to stop all car reasonably that it could be, like all car passing in the last half hour. If we, the citizens, find out that some people are doing some evil thing with a whole pack gun in a car, not only the police, but the citizens in any country have the right and the duty to isolate such a car if it's even to do it by trial and error. That's my belief. Next one. Jerry, Portia can't answer questions unless she program. She limited, Jerry. Yes, yeah, she can answer questions without being programmed. But she liable if you talk out things that them now want she talk out. And she liable if you talk the truth too. That's why them program her. To keep her in a certain line. Because she liable if you talk out the truth. Because when you, that's why cross questioning go on in court, you know. Because when you are being questioned directly, little by little you are liable to talk out the truth even when you want to hide it. That is the thing about truth and light, you know. When you are being questioned over and over, even if you are trying to hide facts, you are liable to let them out. That is what the idea about cross-questioning and examination is about. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up Hello. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up Hello. Good morning. Yes, good morning. How are you doing, sir? Not too bad. You know? Yeah. Mr. Knight did say... When they're having a leadership contest, yeah. Mr. Simpson and Peter Phillips. Yes, he did say that lady couldn't stand up on her feet and talk. Him did say so? Yes, something to that effect. Uh. And we get at him for it, but... Who get at him for it? You and who? Well, lot of people. You and who? Me, who just say me, but... But you said we. You said we. <laughs> you know, and I too. No, you and the JLP. <laughs> no, man. No, no, not the JLP, really. You never get at him? No. Or oh, the JLP did use it? Well, they would use it. That's politics. Yeah. That's politics. Yeah, what I remember, but the plainest thing I remember saying is that what? Talking about Portia Simpson being popular. Mm -hmm. Him say, in, in, the, in supporting Peter Phillips before the vote, too. Yeah. Him say, if the person is popular, but they can't hold the party together, mm -hmm. well, the party is going to lose. Mm -hmm. And so it is, they did lose with the most popular person in the history of Jamaican politics at the head of the JLP, yeah. at the head of the PNP. They lost the election to a little pale, a little pale, not very attractive, not charismatic Bruce Golden. But you know, yeah. I said if the heat is in the kitchen, you can stand it, you have to come out. And she should know, because she's in the house a long time now, yeah. as the Prime Minister. Yeah. You have to represent everybody else portfolio you know you do you have not to understand it you do not and to understand it you do not have to understand it <laughs> buster man you never understand you know everybody portfolio trust me buster did bright though of course but mm -hmm. i'm telling you you don't have to be yes. you don't have to yes. be um yes. 
the I fact that no let's, let's go for a break let's go for a break let's go for a break Welcome back to set up. Are you still there? What? what? No, listen to me. Listen, I just want to know if you're still there. Yeah, man. All right, here it is now. Here it is now. The fact that um, the leader of a cabinet or a government does not understand all of the different portfolio agent, uh, areas yes. does not mean that that person is not bright. Mm -hmm. So Bustamante, yes, was very bright, but he never understand most of the different portfolio. Then, but he was still very capable. Yes. Portia Sims Miller is not done Snyder, but she's not prepared neither. Yes, she's not she prepared to understand any of those yeah, different things. Yeah. Well, on a man, not prepared to understand any of those different things because through our understanding of politics and populism is what carry her and our generalship, physical generalship of the PNP, the physical generalship of the PNP in a 1980 and 81 coming up after PG and the whole of them. Whole of them run gone, all Michael Manley run gone. You see, what we have to understand, though, you know, that's how the parliament works. The leader is there of the opposition, whoever the leader of the opposition is, to question the Prime Minister on different things. The, the Prime the, Minister then, was able to... Then who are you arguing about that? <laughs> no, well, it's some, it's some people calling in to say Mr. Holness was hard on Mrs. Simpson. But I don't think so. I Look here, I am not here to defend Holness or the JLP, neither PNP and Portia Simpson Miller. And the program is not defending about defending either no, JLP. No. Hold on, why not allow me to do that, man? This program is not about defending JLP or PNP. And this program is not a debate between JLP and PNP. This program is to expose the both of them that they are unsuitable. Yeah. And they are a disguise and a camouflage. That's what they are. Okay. About, ab, ab, Any, about, yes. Anyhow, you did you see the, the news last night again with this put security with this woman down on the ground? No, no. They're missing something, man. Miss something? Yes, man. No, them thing I want to hear what yeah. you think of it. What about them kind of behavior being going on 500 years in Jamaica? Yeah, yeah. And the government here is, is, is typical of the government behavior. Look, that is how them treat. Just like how that poor security treat the woman on the ground. And, and that's, how, that's how the government treat the people. And the head of the, of the port security like him agreeing with what, is, what happened there. That's why they put him as head there, whoever it is. <laughs> and they all take it easy, sir. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Yeah, Jerry. Yes, sir. Well, may I tell you something? Give me a yeah. time from yesterday. Yeah, you were asking who, who is the Prime Minister of Jamaica and you never did, you never agree with me. Who you say is the Prime Minister? Um, the Prime Minister, um, you know, is a, is a surrogate. She's a surrogate. I don't know who it is, but she's not the Prime Minister. They yes, say she's just up. Let me just put her up front. Chair leader. You know, she has to put on, she, she just be, do the pom pom of her pom pom and her tennis skirt. And My you know, you talk about pom pom, you know. <laughs> the only thing she interested in is when she go home at evening time, go look on her picture with she and um, Comrade so, Michael Manley, where she taking her 70s and... So you believe, say, um, she coming like Venus Williams and Serena Williams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, say Serena. And her tennis skirt and her pom pom. Because but so yes, but, uh, tennis, but Venus, no, I think that's Serena. She wear a tennis skirt and, and she wear other skirt, but she don't wear underwear all the while now. You know that? Yeah, I mean, you know yeah, like, yeah, um, Venus, yeah, not the Venus, Serena. Yes, that's what I said, Serena. Don't wear underwear all the while now. Why? May I tell you? And Serena. because she knows, say, talk look, look here. Talk she look good, may I tell yes, you? Yes, man, she look good. There, Whether she have underwear or not, look good, same way. Yes, yes, but I, I, I want to show you. You know, you in a tennis uh, in, in speaking too. Yeah, but you know how, you see the salute, you know the salute that people make when they put them on up on them face? It's a, it's a sign of um, respect, you know, say, boy, the person is so brilliant and uh, them dazzling and them put up their hand in front of them face to shine the, the shield with the brilliance. It's a salute, it's a form of respect, say, boy, you are so brilliant, I put up my hand in front of my face. Well, that's what Venus now. Whether she have on the hand or we are not, she so looks so brilliant. She are, are blind, you know, sometimes she are blind, you know. Yeah, I like that. But so we are so we, then we, we are compare we are compare no, no, with we are compare with Portia. Portia is not the prime minister. She can't. I mean, she, she, she can't look. She can't look. She, can't look. Question, she not mean, look good like Venus. She not good. Like, she not look good like Venus. Oh yeah. She tall, but she not have them shape there, and them big legs there. Oh, exactly. But um, hey, another subject. What about? I think the U.S. embassy. Me know them are listening. They yeah. should have give Wilson honorary. Visa to come America, you know, what do you think? You can get it already. 
Uh, so how come him still there at Kingston and can come on the plane? Who tell us him can come? Well, have you seen him can come because he, 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 that man they love Obama, you know, man. The man they love Obama. Who tell us him can come? <coughs> he love Michelle, a White House, he want to go, you know. He know want to come to America, you know. He want to go straight to White House. Eh? Don't have more That's a behind the airport. Great house, uh, that man. That's no, a great no, house. White, no, you're talking about White Twitter Rosa. You don't know more be a good man. White House, they're behind the runway, I, I, I'm more be. You know, there's Peter Phillips did the Tuesday, man. You know, you say Peter Phillips did over the Tuesday attack. Over where? Over White House, out of, out of, out of Rosal. No, that's not White House. That's a White Witch of Rosal House. But White House in Amobie is a fishing beach behind the airport. And you have a White House now, West Malanto. Behind the airport? Where them do back there? No, fishing beach and, 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 and guest house around there. You don't know around there. Uh, and JDF. Me pass, when me come, me pass the white witch of Rosal down, you know, No, you're stuck, you're stuck. St. James. No, you're stuck. You're playing stuck. No, St. James. No, man, but wait, so should I get an honorary visa to come to America, man? Would I love to see him up here? Well, you know that one go go to have an honorary, get an honorary, honorary keys to the city, to Saddam. Yes, she has the man bet can't get no visa because um, then go to Cuba, you know, America still. Once you go to Cuba, then, then put you up on a, um, a no-fly list. Then, then Doyle Thompson never go to Cuba? Yeah, but he never gets to come to America. Who tell you that? Doyle Thompson never go to America, I joke here, man. Eh? So how come? And Michael, so, Ma Michael Mann... Ma a member of parliament... Hold on, Ma Michael uh, Mann never go to Cuba? Yeah, but when, when you become a member of a government, you, you can't travel. You no, can't you're travel. no, you're talking different, different thing, man. So, Jerry, what do you think about them people with the Satan argument? When me that yesterday, who you think Satan is? I don't have a time now. Satan do exist. It's a, it's a, it's a character. It don't exist. Cartoon. And, wait, wait, it's a cartoon, 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 cartoon character. I have to go. I have, I have to go. I have to go. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. A cartoon character. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. You know? Like Batman and uh, the rest of them. Green Giant. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. You know? Are you there? Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Welcome. You see, that's why some people are chatting and chatting and chatting and hold up over the time. And when you cut them now, you might feel that way. They waste two other people's phone call. Let's play back Israel vibration. Bad intention. That little dictator where salivates them or come dictate to Jamaica. A bad intention you have. Fire their moose moose tail and them think a cool breeze. Yes, good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Yes, sir, love, Bongo Jerry. Yes, ma'am, how are you? Life, health and strength, good over evil, life over death. Yes, sir. Yes, I. Well, one learn fully lightened man or woman is harder and the evil pagan or colonialist than a thousand ignorant worshippers. Know thyself. This propaganda of this disassociating Western African from Africa is not a new one. For many years, white propagandists have been printing toils of dictator to impress scattered Africans, especially that portion within their civilization. This with the idea that Africa is a despised place inhabited by savages and cannibals where no civilized human should go, especially black civilized human beings. Hello, hello, hello. Yes? All right, talk now. There's a limit to what you can read, the amount of things you okay. can read. Okay, well, this is just pointing out, right, how the propaganda that my people have been brainwashed with over the years, you know what I mean? The time is come that we should all wake up and know ourselves. I agree, I agree. Okay, have a good day. No, man, hold on a little. Um, now, so we get a book, we get many books, and the books help to guide us, not true? You hear me? I'm gone? Well, that's what I'm saying now. Yeah, we get many books, and the books help to guide us and so on, but we will not be blinded by the book neither. Not going to be blinded by the book neither. So nobody come try to use no Bible and come blind me. You can't blind me with no Bible. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up, Go ahead, please. Hello, morning. Yes, morning, man. Brother, yeah, man, go ahead, please. Welcome. Yeah, 
Tough respect. Um, I would like to ask you a question, okay? Yes, sir. Um, is it true that um, Marcus Garvey were disrespected in a courthouse by Nam Mandy? Yes. Um, yes, yes. Yes, we have heard um, the, we have heard the story of how Norman Monday tried to ridicule and disparage the flag of the UNIA and therefore disparage Marcus Garvey. Yeah. Yeah, because guess what happened now. You see, I'm a type of person in Nigeria. Yeah, I'm a born, the politician in Nigeria. When a politician comes, when, when a, a political activist comes and comes come and makes the action and, and, and attacks certain things, I'm not really too, con, I'm not really too confirm it still in a car. I don't really too, I'm not believing them people that say that still in Nigeria. Yeah. I don't make a youth, I don't make a youth, I'm a born in a, a diarrhea PNP woman still in Nigeria, my mother, my father. Alright, hold on, 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 now, regardless of that, um, there's things that I still respect Norman Manley for. So more time, yes, you, yes. Hold on, so more time you hear me, you will hear me point out that the PNP depart from some of the higher standards of Mar Norman Manley. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, so, and, yet, and, yet, and yet I know that him disrespect Marcus Garvey, who I love. Also, yes. Marcus Garvey disrespect Haile Selassie who yeah. I love, and yet I still continue to support yeah, yeah, Marcus yeah, Garvey. The teacher about that, we about that, we about that, we about that, we in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so man, enough respect in Nigeria, and yeah, keep up the good work and strength. Yeah, man. That's on, Jerry. Well, thank you very much, yes, sir. Yeah, man. Let's go, let's go for the 10-year mainland news, straight up. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. Just, just before, excuse me, just before I take your call, um somebody want to big up Trisha and Felicia. There are some dedicated digital phone card sellers at the digital office at Apple Tree Transport Center. Customers rate to know, continue to supply them while them support to know. I hope they must sell it for a good price, you know. I know some not buy no phone card over price. But in the meantime, big up Trisha and Felicia. Dedicated this digital phone card seller at the digital, digital office in Apple Tree Transport Center. Well, I don't think the digital card center themselves would have sell digital card over the right price. Yes, big up Felicia and Trisha. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Mr. Small, good morning, sir. Good morning, welcome. Yes, sir. First thing first. Yeah. You, you, I, 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 I'm not against the one business in Miss Princess, but, but I think you, you need to have a little bit of this. Not against the one business. Have you, have you ever heard the kind of um, way that she described me on the program? Anyway, can we move on, Mr. Small? No, no, we're not. 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 We are not going to move on unless you tell me if you have heard the kind of way that she described me on the program here. Mr. Small. I'm not, dis I'm, not, I'm, I'm not disputing you from this missionary, I'm not against the family, but I said the way in which you do it, man. So maybe let's move on, man. Hello? Go, go on, man. Yes, sir. The first thing, Mr. Manley, come here. You, you, you keep on saying that this is the like most populist leader and the political leader. You, Mr. Yeah. Man, you know, Mr. you and I were around when Mr. Manley emerged. Right, so, so let no, me know why you said Ma Michael Manley. Yes, I know why you said Pope Shannon most populist politician man. I bet you say that period, that even period man. Listen here now. Better me say what? Better me say what? I bet you say that even period man. Oh, I could never put portion of the popularity with Michael Manley. Man, I know better. Then any popularity rating must be at a given period. Must be. Yes, but Michael Manley, Michael Manley has to get the age over the whole of them. You should have known that coming up to the 1970 election. No, no, you have a pet, you have a little pet spot there for Michael. Hear this now, hear this now. No, sir, don't say Hold on, allow me, allow me, look. Hear this now. Not only Michael Manley, but Buster Manty at the high time popularity. I know, I know. Would you allow me to, well, you know, would you allow me now to know? Not only Michael Manley, but also Buster Manty at the high time popularity. Would you allow would you allow me? Look at you're gonna allow me. Look at no make no sense. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 Now allow me. Can't Can't deal with it. Somebody else can deal with it, but me can't deal with it. Okay. Now allow me not even nine inch, three, four attempt. No man. You come like Paul well. Good morning and welcome to straight up, hello. Good morning, ma'am. How are you doing, man? 
Yes, I am the secretary calling back. I don't know if you hear about anything for me. What you say good again? Oh, the hard and the bed that I needed. The, the what and the bed? The bed that I have for you to get for me, the, uh, the mattress. Oh. Listen here now, I'm not well organized in that here. I'm just learning about how to... I'm just learning about how to help with those things. I'm not well organized. Right now, trying to figure out a way how to help a lady who some an appeal was made for her some time ago so she need hip replacement. I'm going to look for her two times. I'm going to look for the lady who introduced me to her problem about three times. I'm going to try to find out. I don't know. I'm not familiar with these things. And I have to be very careful because I'm, I'm not going to get wind up in fundraising and solicit. Yeah, what, no, allow me little man. Allow me little. I'm not going to get wind up in fundraising and soliciting funds and all those things and little more getting into problem unnecessarily. So I have to learn how is the best way that you can get together with other people to help people. So true, me kind of yeah. done to it. I, you know, I kind of done it. I just just getting some ideas. And one way how I did a lady did I um, need some glaucoma medicine and them way one way how me they do it is me they put up some money and say if anybody match it and you know so like if me put up two thousand dollars if everybody come up with the dead or three thousand dollars we can do something and little by little but me can't hang my hat which part me or my wallet me can't hang my wallet which part me can't reach it or you know so little by little I have to learn I don't know much about them thing here. but the, all you need to do is keep calling and appealing say you want a mattress what else is there need what kind of phone are you using? It's a line phone. Yeah, line phone. Yeah, so um I'm not very you know, I'm not very skillful in these things and I have to be careful that I don't get myself wind up. Okay. Because a lot of people um they go out and make appeals for different things and when you take a stock sometimes them say might as well them name it themselves and all them you know you find people getting big and fat like government minister no man I wouldn't do that Mr. not you and you and me and me me have to guard myself against me doing it okay you know so I have to give me some time to get some more ideas or people can phone in and give me some ideas how we help people this kind of way okay thank you very much yeah, ma'am. don't give up please don't give up I um Sometimes people call in and, and say them have a this and have a that and you know. Yes, two two. Yes, so don't bother believe in luck, you know. Don't believe in luck. There's no such yes. thing as luck. It don't exist. Just um faith is what exists. And faith is yes, the thing yes. that keep you keep you until yes. until what you need to do to happen happens, you know. Okay. Keep on calling and remind you, ma'am. All right, Mr. Yes, ma'am. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Hey. Yes, welcome. Hey, good morning to you. Yes, sir, Mr. Coombs. Yeah, man. I went this now. I went to your history about Alan Bamboo. You have any history about it? Little bit. All right. There's a man named Badaloo, B-A-D-A-L-O-O-O. Yeah. He come, he come up as slavers. You know, Alan. Yeah. Afterward, he leave and come and send me with Batam Halbini. And he woke my shop at the end of have one son and one daughter. When he had his... And the son named George. Yeah. What the daughter and the son have shop to. But you can read good in, 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 in Indian. Yeah. Indian language. But I don't know what it is. Yeah. And he tell me father that Alan Bamboo was planted by the owner of the estate. And the owner named John Gladstone. You see, he planted bamboo in the late, late 18th century. Yeah. The, the, the workers then planted the bamboo along him direct them. Yeah. John Gladstone now have a son. But the Prime Minister, I believe, uh, I believe, um, it was in England. Yeah. So, sorry about that. We may live in nice, you know, but I have to back with Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So. And you talk, you talk, man, come right to me, get concerned. But I'm talking to you from the world, you know? Yes, sir. Yeah. Mr. Gladstone, what the Prime Minister, I believe, in England, I don't put exactly with you. Yeah, man. Uh, something goes on? Yeah, man, Gladstone, Prime Minister. All right, thank you very much. You see? I don't come from you, come from you, no. No, but, but, but I believe most of the bamboo come from India, you know that? I never, I never went to the right one, no. that's right, but I don't say it was 
to somebody bridge you I don't know where you come from. The whole of the far east have all the power bamboo, but I mean. Yeah, yeah, I heard about but I just, and I went to you say yes, me know, because you bought me up, right? I want to show you the word bamboo good all the Indian word too. But I don't say, you know, say bo bungalow. I think bungalow are Indian word enough. You know bungalow? Could be, could be. Me know, me know, you don't know what name so? You don't know what name so? You don't know what name so? You don't know, you know, you know, you know bungalow? No. Some little small house build a certain kind of Oh, way. yeah, oh, yeah, man, bungalow house, man. Yeah, 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 bam, one, and touch on them things there. Yeah, yeah bungalow. Yeah, bungalow, oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I man, my papa will keep in your bungalow. Yeah. You know, I believe I'm talking about bungalow, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, so, that is my little stupidest man, you know. Well, thank you very much for that. Next week, me tell you about Portland and uh, Indian man, right? Yeah. Thanks very much. All right, good, All good. Yes, sir. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good morning, welcome. Straight Up, hello. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Yes. Yes? Yes, ma'am. We know that there are certain chemicals that are used in food products. Yes, ma'am. And things like that, but this man just wanted to talk about fluoride that they have in the toothpaste and stuff like that. Yes, ma'am. I don't know if you know anything about fluoride. Fluoride, and put them put in a toothpaste and make it eat white? Yes, that is what they tell us, though. Or it protect cavity or something like that. Yes. But I want to share some truth. Yeah. And fluoride, yeah. right? And I want everybody that's listening to the program to go and do their own research on the truth about fluoride. Yes, ma'am. All right. Fluoride was added to the water supply in the 1940s. Yeah. When they added it, they claimed that it was a dental care product, but no doctor used it because they were aware of the truth. The truth about fluoride is that it was developed by Francis Perry was a chief scientist of the aluminum lab laboratory of the aluminum company of America at the time. Yeah. What happened was that the fluoride was is a byproduct of aluminum and other waste products. Oh. And it was making the work sick. And yeah. they needed to find a way also to dispose of it. So what they did was they developed they got some scientists, including Gerald Cox of the Mellon Institute of Industrial Research at the time. Yeah. They got some scientists and they came together and they devised a way to put it in products like toothpaste so that they will eliminate some of the waste of dumping it evidently in the environment. Fluoride actually is one of the main causes of mental illnesses like autism and other things and other things like that it lowers the IQ. It causes migraines. And it does a whole lot of other negative things. I don't know why they still continue to use this because there are certain countries around the world, if you research it, you'll find out that they actually ban the use of fluoride in their water supply. And there was a research done in the 2000s where it was a uh, site online where they said that Jamaica's fluoride supply in the water is too high, it's way above the recommendation, right? They yeah. know this, but they continue to use it for profit and for other means. But I would like everybody that is here in this program this morning to do a little research on the truth surrounding fluoride and see what they come up with. That's, well, that's well, what I have the input today. Well, thank you very much for that, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, thank you. No problem. Yes, good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yes, Jerry. How are you, Jerry? Fine, thank you, sir. Yeah, me, I want to get a stone, man. Me, I tried to get yesterday, but I couldn't get the one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man, me, me, me talk to you in a, in a divan with my wife one day. We big, we big up the thing. Oh, we yes. Ribs and... Yes, man. All the Monday, but you me want to tell you now. Yes, sir. One of the ladies did ask early on about mattress and thing. Yes, yes. Tell her, say, they have a place for a poor relief place right for an over street, 75, 65 and over street. Yeah. She can't go there after a woman named Miss, Miss Walker. Yeah. And tell her her problem, man. Them help them, man. Yeah. So that's one of the information. So you never put yourself in the problem if you go look nothing. Just give them the information. Yes. And send them on. Make them go pick up them things there. I hope she, um, I hope she listen. Yeah, man. 65 Hanover Street. Poor relief. Yeah. Hope and she them have probation officer and so them send out and deal with them things there for them. You go check, check if it's really true anyway. If, if it's really true. Yeah. Well, so, 
Well, thank you very much for that, dear son. Yeah, man, I'm here at Stone Man, man. Farmer, man. Yeah, remember, mama. Remember, mama. Remember, mama. All right, remember, so big up, big up yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, all right, me original man, you know. We know you from you are a taxi man, and you're the puppy, you know. I juggle shoes, so we know where you're going, and we know the ropes. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, man, remember, mama. All right, now you take care. Big up yourself. Thank you very much, dear son. All right. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up Along. Good morning, and welcome to Straight Up Morning, Joe. Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Yes, sir. This is your first time calling. Yes, sir. How are you doing? I'm not too bad at you. Fine, thank you. I'm calling from a place called Guyzeel. I love Guyzeel, yeah, man. You love know, Guyzeel, good? Yeah, but I do love the Devil Race course. Oh, you love know, the Devil Race course. Yeah. <laughs> Look here, we're calling about a, a bad road that we have up here, you see? Yeah. Last night we come in from town. Yeah. And when we reach down by the place we call um, Dover. Yeah. You know how the place is bad and then holding, pe- holding up people there, you know. We have to come out of the street, you know. Wow. I walk down the road by the car, couldn't go in the past road. Yeah, man, some, some sinkhole. You can't tire the body, the body road. Them up that here. is not going through the key and peace. Yes. You have to know the place for Jerry. Terrible. Terrible. It is very terrible, Jerry. Very, so very So, who is the MP and, and the thing is, you know, you can lose your life because you see when you're coming out of the vehicle, you have to come out of the vehicle and walk. Yeah. So, Do- anybody can rush out of the scene, please. Dr. Barr still in the parliament? Um, who are the MP? Uh, who are the MP? Uh, what, uh, what the MP? Uh, I think that uh, the, um, the, the man Mr. Mayor Mr. Mayor, 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 Mayor. The, the dual citizenship eh? yeah and what the council for them here then but he's not going to come Jerry Jerry we don't want him back up here because he's not in our service and system oh yeah so what them what the people them can do about that they must be able to do something about that so we must can do something about it because you understand that all their seats are coming here and their seats are session now that the people are nice but the road. And yeah, drop out our teeth. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the road, Jerry, the road is the road we're talking about. You see, when you saw one night you come in and, and somebody roll up there saying, I get you in a very get, but we don't have no way of seeing to this both side of the road. Yeah, and somewhere in another year, them, them, they damn burn up, um, Christine, you it. No man, that is that is that is River, River, way it's, it's River, River, Riversdale Road. Riversdale Way. But nice see him here at all. Yeah. Why? Right. When you leave Lincoln and coming up yeah, to come yeah. to Dover, you get like this place to call you going to Redwood. Yeah, ma'am, I know. Yes, it's very terrible, ma'am. We don't know what to do. Well, thank you very much for the call and keep in touch with the program here, ma'am. Yes, all right, Jerry. Have a good day. Th- thank you very much. We have some, <coughs> excuse me, have some, te- <coughs> excuse me, we have some text messages here. Good morning, Jerry. Just like Mr. Coombs with the history, can you get back the man who parked the ship safely in the harbor? That, uh, um, with that talk about who the king, where, where, where the next man was again? Where the next marine pilot was again? I, I forgot to remember. And we're talking about that, um, who the king, Roman king. Next one. Hello, hello, Jerry. You made an error on the date of Mandela's imprisonment. It was 1964, not 1962, as stated previously. Well, he was sentenced in 1964, but they took him into custody and have him in jail from the 5th of August 1962. But they never finished trial until 64. Next one. Bongo tell Wilson, say him to go look at work and stop come chat foolishness. Him dip on every radio station. Yeah, I think him, him work, you know. I think him work. Next one. Morning, Bongo. God is not he or she. God is a spirit. So Selassie could never be God. Who are you disputing with? With whom do you have such a dispute? I agree with um, what you said, but who is who you, who, you, who you disputing with? Next one. Jerry, thank God that JPS cut off my light so me could have known about the program. Because if TV never depend on pause, me not listen to radio. I always think radio boring, but not your program. Your program different, man. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. So we can start charging TV now. Thank you very much. Next one. Jerry, have you ever 
heard about cloud sculpting or brain bombing. No, I hear about cloud seeding. Oh, tell me more about cloud sculpting and then rain bombing. Thank you very much. Let's go to the phone again and wait for some more text message. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, Leo. Yes, I am. Rastafari. Live and rain in our flesh, you know? Yes, sir. Yeah, man, morning to the world, you know? It's true, true, true. Mr. Small, you have a female caller, you see? Yeah. When she called, trust me, I don't know what kind of phone she was using, but trust me, the phone clear and she fluent, you know? Yeah. I was really waiting to call after she, you know? Oh. Because I also have a, a gift for her. Yes? Yes, man, me have a gift for her. I want to tell her, so, man, she can't name what she want because she can't get even half of the kingdom. Oh, yes, sir. And she, yes, sir. And she not have to dance? She not have to dance. Like Salome. She dance already. Like Salome. She dance already, remember, man. Remember Salome, I think of Herod, um, Herod wife's daughter, you know. In the same one. She, the, the, um, John the Baptist, a, a liquid pirate, say so you marry your brother's wife. <laughs> and, yeah. the, and the brother's wife not like it, you know. And, and true, she knows that the daddy like how the stepdaughter dance. She mm -hmm. gonna make she, she gonna make she dance. And wine and go down and come back up and all them with it. And the king, the king head go for drop off him out, turn him in the watcher. <laughs> yes, man. Salute, salute me. Yeah, man, so she can't get off her kingdom, but too bad John the Baptist made her prison but, now still, you know? But, but the kingdom <laughs> join on. Yeah. So she have, you know what I'm talking, though? Yeah, she have to move in, though. Mine and my guy is a lawyer talking. No, no, me, me, no, me, 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 I see a lady who tell you, say, if you were to advertise, you rent in a place and you advertise, if you can't advertise who you really want in there. I know, yes, oh, my little lady, man. Yes, my, my little fluent, she's fluent like that. A brilliant idea, man. I'm here to say, a phone clear, man, trust me. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, Mr. Smiley, you never see the clip with the, what happened down on, what you were asking with the tourists uh, and the, with the security and, and the girl who said to her, if you are a tourist. No. But trust me, Mr. Small is a wicked sight. Can I imagine? But me, I you know, said this had gone a long, long time ago, because even at me in a 63 amongst Rasta. Terrible, terrible. Zane? Terrible. But what more than what the government said do, Mr. Small? You see, if it is a case of start, we are supposed to see a hundred miles from tourists. Yeah. Then since as Ochoa is a tourist, you know, should I just get out all of the African people in Mount Ochoa then? Yeah. That now would that make sense, because when tourists come in, then tourists don't must deal with black people. One thing I know, the government more slide up and sidle up to big men now and keep company with big men. That's why I hear Portia seems to me all the while I talk about Honorable Butch. And I make friend with, fr I make friend with Butch Stewart and I hear Damon Crawford say more of him son to come like Butch Stewart. But, in Ocherius, the people them down they feel it. Because the big store owner them, the big store owners, some of the big store owners, some of them not even Jamaican citizens. They organize with some of the taxi man them to carry the passengers go straight off of them store and carry it nowhere else. I see it, I see it down there small island, the same thing I see. Yeah. It, all of them store there, them have some big deep freeze on the ground, you know. Full of red stripe beer and different liquor. That of a taxi. That of a taxi man, you know. So the taxi yeah. man carry all tourists go at that shop and meanwhile the tourists inside that shop him drink any amount of liquor out of the, the deep freeze up on the ground. Me see it in our Virgin Island and me see the same thing they go out down and watch it. Buy out the taxi man for sell out them them other little small people. And carry sure, all man. tourists come at the big man place, make big man neck get bigger. And the well, go, government, the go, do, man, and you, you, you know, you're the man, do man crap, I talk about him, I lead poor people revolution, I mean, you hear me talk about that. And you know? that's the first thing you talk about. Let's go for a break. Yes, good morning and welcome back to Straight Up, hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, yeah, man. Yes, Mr. Small, as me as say, sir. Yeah. You see, these people who have been trained and employed to protect, protect the interests of the state and business people. Yeah. They're going to have to soon come to them senses to realize the boy, the system is just using them against them own like how Saul of Italy did have to come to them senses and after them actually have to people and realize they're wrong, you know. Yeah. yeah. Yes, because I see it's a weird, uh, where they are indoctrinated during them training, you know, Mr. Small. Yeah, man. 
them brain was during that time. Yeah, you see, say like all the transport authority people, them, and the secure, some of the security guard like them, they were them tell them, say, blick them down and batter them down and them kind of way. Yeah. And, and if some Chinese people down there selling you know, or was some white Jamaican girl down there selling or some Indian girl, they're not going to deal with them, say, you know. No, not going to do it. Not going to do it, Mr. Small, because in my feeling, you know, Mr. Small, I'm a taxi driver, and I'm more trying to understand this. So, the taxi driver fight another taxi driver to get a passenger, you know, Mr. Small. Yeah. And I said, you can't do that because the moment the passenger gone, is you and the taxi driver is left. Yes. So, you can't do that. As soon as the tourist gone, the whole left, Mr. Small, now we. Yeah, that's why when when we rather run taxi, I never really, I never, never park up with that taxi, man. Because sometimes, yes, because yes, some sometimes the other taxi man company is not very good for you. Because if you go, yeah. if you creative and getting more work than some of them, some of them have a mind to plot against you and probably send somebody for draw in you know, one dark place as passenger and do your thing. So I, mean, but I was reasoning with one of them. I know what I tell them. I realize if anytime you come into public transport now, you know the first thing you have to employ is bad mind in themselves, man. Bad mind or bad man. That is the first two things. You have to come with bad mind and come with bad man because no, we have a fine, you have to take away, you something you have to whole of person and I take with the passenger from the yeah, person. Yeah, you have yeah. to wipe on the other driver yeah, yeah. to get passenger and all them kind of thing there. Yeah, yeah. So it's a wicked strategy to the government of Mr. Small and they need to stop it. No, they don't, they don't need no, they, to they, be security no, then. They don't need to do any such thing. We need to get together and put a stop to plenty of them. But well, we have to talk again next time. Give thanks and praise, man. That's the fire. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Are you there? Hello, Mr. Small. Good morning. How are you, sir? Fine. Thank you, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm here to find Mr. Yeah. Small. Yes, ma'am. What are we the big house full of attitude? Which one are the big house? The house of Parliament. Oh, them claims that them are the highest court in the land. Drunk yeah, them, a drunk them drunk, drunk them drunk, you know, but them are biggest, highest court in the land. So attitude can run Jamaica? No, them are some local, local, they are some local, local government, you know. Like a local puppet of the international businessman and the international lobby, them and all them. Like a puppet them, puppet them. Them fight, them fight. In a, far, in, in a foreign, a parliament, yes, them change word and them exchange word. Mm. But when it comes to certain things, what is serious and benefit to Jamaica people, sometimes I consider say wonder if them have sense. Why you think them wear necktie and suit every day? Just because of clothes. No, that them do that to impress you because them know them is nothing. Yeah. Them know them is nothing, so they make sure dress up in a clothes to impress you. And so somebody call them them paka attitude but my grandmother used to say you have unclean clothes and look good but underneath is dirty clothes that make you smell and show up who you are Mr. Mr. Small I want to ask you something because you're born at a place and you register at a border how would you clarify that as no, suppose you're born at a place, what? Alright, for instance, before you're born in St. Mary, yeah. and you was you register at the border between St. Andrew and St. Mary. At the border? Which bar, which place which bar, which place you have to register people at the border? Alright. <laughs> you ask a good question. Mm -hmm. Coming from Stone Hill, coming up, yeah. a baker used to be there at the border between St. Mary and who did who did own the bakery? I don't remember the name of the person who did own the bakery. Or them stay? The fear. There was some fear people. Is not, is not, black. Is, is not some Chinese people? No. Oh, I mean, no, no some Chinese. Yeah. No. Go on. But, and a post office was there, and I was registered there. At the post office? Right. And what's the name of that district? The district where I birthed, it was... Field. No, but is, what is the name of the district where the post Luna office Luna Field. Or oh, Luna. Luna Field. And right? the, the post office is still there? I don't sure of it because the last time I passed, I don't know. So where you, you say the confusion would be? What right down on the birth certificate? It marked um, the border. I don't have any problem with it, you know, but I'm just telling you. I'm asking what, the, what, the, what it marked. 
It marked the border of St. Mary and St. Anjo. Well, I like that bird certificate. Right. At the border. Because the border is between St. Mary and St. Anjo. So, so you would have... At the border. So you would have called... born it, in St. Mary. So, them, so uh, she bothered upon the birth certificate. <laughs> Mr. Small, tell you the truth. I listen to you sometimes and I enjoy some of the things. I don't enjoy some of the things. We but we almost know that in the sea, you have hills and valley, big ship, big fish, little fish, big fish eat up little fish. On the land, you have hills and valley. So when you come to the program one morning and you hear people showing up themselves and make you smelling what is going on. Now worry yourself because when you are bearded that sore, you know, and you start to take off the dead flesh and when the dead flesh start to come off, come off you know, that is how the person feel the pain. Yeah. Then the sore bleed, then two days after the sore get better. Mm. So now worry yourself, we all here and we now back down. Thank you. Yeah, come like a sore foot. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Here we are. That's yes. so far right. Yes, ma'am. Well go on. I look for that to go first. I call again because the name of the hormone is called fer feron. Yeah. Oh, pheromone. Yeah. And it, it, uh, it attracts the opposite sex to you. Oh, yeah? What did yeah. The, the hormone where the civet cat have? Huh? The hormone where the, where the civet cat have and the... Um, no, we're, like, we're talking human. What did a big perfume name again? Um, Fermone. No, man, you have a, you have a big... No, you have a big perfume that... What do call it? Uh, um, forget what name. Our next cat out, them find a yesha. Expensive. Can you the city? Expensive perfume. Forget what name. Oh, that's not expensive. Anyway, so... Alright, so you look down the other one that I was the lesson I was giving. Yeah, yeah. Satan's death. Yeah, but you don't want to study no more names of Satan from out of no, room. No, 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 no. Out of room, classroom. I want to talk about Gabriel now. Gabriel? Ga Gabriel. Gabriel. Yes. Gabriel, him last name. Gabriel. Gabriel, his first name. They huh? say he's an angel. What is it? Gabriel, Ga Michael. Gabriel, his first name, and Gabriel, his last name. Really, that's how it go? Oh. oh. Gabriel. Gabriel. Oh. You, yes. You know, you so ever heard of him? I, I say, I hear them have four angels. One named Gabriel. Mm -hmm. One named Michael. Israel. One, one named Ruel. Yes. Uh, and what the fourth one name again? Israel. Uh, four and of them. And Israel. Israel, the one Israel is from I Z R E A L. Yeah. And Israel Fahir. I S R A S E E L, and they don't do the same job, you know. They have their own jobs, you know. Uh, a fairy tale, them not doing. A fairy tale. Mm. So are they men? A fairy tale, man. No, I'm asking you, are they men and women then? No, I make a, a fiction story. Okay, so there's no distinction between human and divine. No, you yeah, know, a, a people are folklore them there, folklore. Okay. And and there's no such thing as sin. Sin, no, sin mean sin mean falling short in, in other words not enough. Not good enough. That's what sin means. You know. Falling short or not good enough. Fall short of the mark. Short of the mark. So That's everything what, is dealing with um human man and woman. Yeah, human on earth. No, human thought and activity, yes. Yes, thought and activity. And if you fall short, that's considered sin? No, sin means coming short of the required performance. That's what sin means, short. What kind of performance, Jerry? Anything. Performing good, performing on time, performing clean, you know? Like, okay, so you tell a person to be in the studio at 10.30. Yeah. And they come 10.45. Yeah. That's falling short of the mark. Yes, the, and the word S A N in a French, S A N S has a similar word related to it, mean without. Without? Yeah, without, short or something. Okay. 
So it, it's the application in a, my life every day. Yeah, if you fall short of the required behavior, that's what sin means. Be in your conduct. Anything at all, whether conduct, behavior, health, anything, sin, fall short. Fear. So if I if I get sick, if I get sick, yeah, I sin. No, you you see, yeah, yeah, you yeah, glorify the word sin, make it come like a mystique. All it means falling short. Short of the mark. Like me if I keep the program for three hours, me only keep it for two and a half hours, I'm still one going like it's a three hour show. Anything at all will fall short. Okay, okay. Mm. But mainly in a condo. Anything at all, fall short. Anything at all will drop short. Okay. And, uh, and those hormones is a, her is a hormone that exudes out of a person that really makes them more sexy. Yeah, you're not short at that, man. You're not short. Thank you, bro. Every, every time has it, though. No, you're not short, man. No, I'm not shot. No, no, no. I had a good perfume. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jerry. Just, just keep it locked. Yes, Jerry. Mm. Yes, good morning and welcome back to the city. Let me give some text messages again, please. First one says, Jerry, you need to be more polite on air, Jerry. Coming from David in Manchester. Well, that is possibly true, you know. At the same time, no, I prefer to be true more than to be polite. Because you have a lot of polite hypocrisy. The world is mostly full up of polite hypocrisy. And politeness is used to mask a whole heap of other things. So maybe I do have on a mask. But I still agree that, yes, I, I can be more polite. But not with hypocrisy. Polite, but not as a mask. Just plain and straight but polite, but no masking with hypocrisy. So, that is how we have to balance it now. Balance politeness with, with truthfulness, but no hypocrisy. I mean, I balance politeness with hypocrisy, but let me go try now. Next one. Good morning, Mr. Small. Can you please explain how Garvey disrespected Selassie? Well, Garvey wrote a lot of disrespectful things about Haile Selassie between 1937 on 1938 39 wrote a lot of very disrespectful things about him um you know very disrespectful write it in my paper after he used to write and big him up afterwards um he was disappointed about something i started writing and still very disrespectful and it was a mistake he was making saying that still has no reply to him later i don't even know if still has to get the letter maybe still has to reply and them keep the letter too keep the reply because this kind of thing happened Especially when we are trying to unite with one another. Babylon will do anything to intervene and set us against one another and make us misinterpret one another. But we can't blame Babylon. You know. It is our duty to check with one another and find out how things really go. So I'm still not going to blame it on Babylon. Next one. Jerry, you don't like PNP or GLP. Who do you like? Only Rasta you talk about and will say good things about them. Now you see somebody who writes something like this. Like a lot of people in Jamaica, they believe that the world or everything in Jamaica must be divided between PNP and JLP. And if you don't like JLP, you must like PNP. If you don't like PNP, you must like JLP. Some people believe that way. This is stupid. The world and Jamaican life is not restricted to PNP and JLP. And not only that, you say it's only Rasta me talk about and say good things about. You're not listening to me properly. I criticize myself sometimes. I criticize things that many Rastafari I do. And I disagree with many things that a lot of Rastafari believe in. Like dreadlocks being superior to somebody where they don't have on dreadlocks. Or some people believe that through them comb them here, they're superior to dreadlocks. Some people believe that if they trim them here and shape up them beard, they're superior to other people. I don't know none of them things. I don't know nothing where they well, say, one man for control and some big personality for control. Prince Emmanuel for control the Bubba House and for, 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 forever. And Brother Gad for control 12 tribes forever and all them things. I don't know that at all. Foolishness. Foolishness. Civilized humanity don't bow under no personality, much less bow under them forever. You know, you may have taught them things, but you claim that it's only Rasta I talk about, and it's only good things I will say about them. You are mistaken. Not only mistaken, you are not well informed. But um, you are not perfect neither, and neither am I. Next one. Jeremiah understand of the word Satan is that is a title given to the devil. 
Is that why you say Satan doesn't exist? Because it's just a title. No. The devil also is a personification. Is a, is a character where people make up. The devil. I want character where people make up. To demonstrate a, a, a story. This is how a human being conceives stories. You know. In other words to make a point. And some people take it serious like it's a real person. But some people not willing to open their mind and examine things. So little by little. Either them learn or them stay one place forever. Next one. Don't say that the Prime Minister doesn't look good like Serena. It doesn't sound good. And saying that she is tall and do have any shape like Serena, you need to be more respectful whether you vote for her or not. I don't vote for her, but I respect her. Now, Portia Simpson Miller cannot compare with Serena Williams when it comes to shape. And when it comes to not wearing um, garment that is made to enhance you, she can't compare to Serena Williams. Serena Williams no need no garment for an answer. And the Prime Minister need clothes to make sure look good. Serena Williams can do have on no clothes and look and she even look greater. I will she hold it down when Serena Williams put on clothes, I will she hold it down. Like the place no catch a fire. And you won't compare Portia Simpson Miller with Serena Williams and say me disrespectful. You not look you not look on them good man. You neither look on Serena good and you not look on Portia good. Let me read it again. Don't say that the Prime Minister doesn't look good like Serena. I can't say that the, the Prime Minister don't look as good as Serena Williams. And I'm disrespectful because I say that. You're not right, man. You think a tennis we are dealing with? It's not tennis we're dealing with, neither politics. We're dealing with reality or womanhood. Or woman, um. What's new pussycat? We're dealing with womanality. Yes, womanality. I think I drew the more word, word that. A womanality we're dealing with, and I deal with tennis. You have to have balls to play tennis. And you have to have a racket for run politics. I know them there we are dealing with. I'm going to read it again. Don't say that the Prime Minister doesn't look good like Serena. It don't sound good. And saying that she is tall and don't have any shape like Serena, you need to be more respectful whether you vote for her or not. I don't vote for her, but I respect her. Then you know, go and respect her. Go and respect her. But she cannot. Her legs can't compare with Serena Williams. Like that's what I say. She don't have them nice big legs like Serena. Does the Prime Minister have nice big legs? No, you know that. And you don't have to have nice big legs to be Prime Minister. But to be Serena, you have to stay well. Otherwise, it's not Serena that. There must be some Dodge Caravan. You know them have Dodge Serena too. They have anything where we sell, we claim to put on the name point. You know. They have all them, I carry the name Morris Eitel. I want to perform a marina, a Morris Marina, them, but them say to sell more of them, call it Ital. In the late 70s, when Rasta get famous in the world, them start call Morris Marina, Morris Ital. Next one. Jerry, what do you say about the, the two guards who hold down the woman? If it was me they hold down, I would suck out the blood out of them. Boy, you're good. Your constitution. <laughs> now you have a strong constitution and a strong mouth and a strong hole, throat hole. I wouldn't do it. Jerry, what do you have to say about the two guards who hold down the woman? If it was me, they hold down. I would suck out the blood out of them. Well, I know you, uh, you would have really get rid of them, but why? We have to find a different way. The thing so round, you, you, you can't go around it. And the thing so low, you can't go The thing so high, you can't go over it. That's a whole time, a whole time African um, encouragement tune. You know, them call it Negro spiritual. Rock a man's soul. Rock a man's soul. Why is nice? The text message them. Very saucy and spicy. But Serena Williams is far more attractive than the Prime Minister. Prime Minister can't have a beauty contest with them. Prime Minister can't have a beauty contest with, with, with Lisa. What's her name? Lisa Hannah neither. I mean, the Prime Minister, she better than Lisa Hannah, but Lisa Hannah feels better looking than the Prime Minister. And, and, and Lisa Hannah here is naturally straight. But the Prime Minister want to be Indian. What? What, what you say, Kevin? <laughs> they have receipt to Indian here. Some people have been in here like, like Lisa. And some people have the receipt. And there's no competition between the Prime Minister and Lisa when it comes to certain things. Why you get me in a deeper water more than um, what I did plan to dive into? Good morning. We haven't called you. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hey. Yes, sir. Good morning. What's going on, sir? Well, yeah, Marshall, you know, I nearly half a minute on the line, you know. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, man. If she no, man, you can't hand count, hand man. You can't count. count. What is about Serena? If she in a way hand out here, yes. it can go show up too much. What going to show up? You know, man. No, if, no, she, no. if she wear it? Yeah. 
You mean it, and it going buff too much? Yes. Then so what they want if it won't buff? Yes, and it going too far time to me get you off. It can't too far. <laughs> that's, that's how she wins. <laughs> because um, there, there are people who can't concentrate. Anyway, yes, what I will, I'm nearly half a while waiting. No, man, you can't come. You can't read clock, man. A clock, your clock, or yeah, what? Yeah, you you can't read, but you can't read, but you can't read oh, time. Yeah, man. I tell you, man, I found before the lady where the actual you go and do drama them in the family line. Oh, sorry, sorry. What I really call you about, the yeah. lady that beg in the bed. The bed, yes. Why she don't try food for the poor? Yes, that's an idea. That's a sort of whole long, it hold by, by face. No, face, man. Face, face, no, no man. Face, food face. for the poor, I have had a whole long, I do everything. Father, for how long is missionaries to the poor? In the poor. Well, look and you have some other man, my food. My I food, think I'm my yes. food, you know. Yes. My food. She can't, she can't try food for the poor. Yeah. It hold by, besides salt factory. Salt factory in a Spanish town. In a Spanish town. On the bypass. Yes. I don't know how she really get, get, she try them, but she can't go there and find out. I don't know if she has to get a, a card from some church or something. A card, yes, saying but that she's a member. She or some, some then what about the universal church? It, them only take in money, them not give out money? I don't know. You I don't know, know the, about that. You know the universal church? No, no, not at all. Them have a sign mark. It almost make like a bad word. UCK, mm. Universal Church of the Kingdom of God. UCK, UCKG. Sometimes I say the sign, I say, Come like a bad word. You Universal Church of the Kingdom of God. Well, you I don't know, but I I tell you no way she can really try and I believe she will get through there. It's true, it's true. Uh, take, take, take care of yourself. Then never know. When if me said the Serena look better than the Prime Minister, me disrespect Portia. No, no, not at all. No. All women look good. Yes, sir. Okay, how slim they are, how fat they are. Yeah. They are all women. What what a what car about now after? Did you ever hear about Dr. Bogo? Careful, tell me about it. In, a, in a the 50s, they used yeah. to have some man in called Ketra man, you know. Yeah, what them do? They used to come like most of Wednesday and Saturday and drive some car like to the baker. Yes. And clean out. Yeah. And if them see you on the street and catch you and carry you and your parents never see you again. And what them do when them carry you? I don't know if them kill you or them carry you, you know. What them do first before them kill you? Yes, sweetie. Sweetie? Yes, yes, sweetie from the street. Give you sweetie for the what? The heat and then the hole you then call you the car and give you sweetie. Yeah, then what them are, what them are, when them give you the sweetie you go in the car, what them do before them kill you? I don't kill know, you know. Oh, Dr. I, Bobo. I, I do, yeah, then call him Dr. Bobo or Ketra man. Oh. Then, a then Boko. Then you don't call Ketra, you know, them have a man in the way around your dung. Bok, Boko Batam. Yes, yes, that's where he come from. Yes. And that it come from in a long time ago. I don't see you again, I don't know if they kill you, but it come from, and those from, you know, the, you know, the, in yeah, the them, some, of the, some people really call it black heart, man. Black heart, man. But it's really black horse, man. Yes, uh, Ketra, man. Some of them now have no horse, them have donkey, so you know yes, them call that one. They used to come from between Fort and Tour, and come in at St. Mary Hen. But when Siaga did a do him research as a young sociologist student, you know. Uh -huh. Um, when him drive up now the area, and we must have a little black horse, man, or something like so. The uh -huh. people them start spread some stories, say, say, my black heart, man. And him a hobby, man, all kind of thing. Uh -huh. But him, 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 him just use the story and get into the people them more. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A smart guy, you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Who me I talk about? Who you say, Siaga? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. All right, thank you very much. Take care, take care, bye. Let's go for the 11 a.m. headline news, straight up. <laughs> Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. We're going into the last hour of the program. And seriously now, the caller, you know, callers and texters, none of them have serious concerns. I don't take it lightly. Saying that, you know, disrespect the Prime Minister, and, you know. It, uh, now, I agree that, um, you know, people, <coughs> people hold certain offices and posts, whether they're big or small. Come I mean, I respect no big people, big, more than no small people. When I, mean, I talk about the name small, like oh, my name small. I no respect no big people or no great or no money people, but more than the ordinary people at all. I detest any kind of thing like that. But people must, I mean, they no must. People should respect all humanity. And I know that if people represent and hold certain office and things, you will tend to have more reference and respect for them. I don't, but I don't mind if you do or not. It is natural. So I allow you to do that, you know. And um, so on and so forth. 
But um, me not being disrespectful in the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister is not, not important than any other woman. Not more important than any other woman. And not better looking than any other woman either. And we are not only free, but we should exercise freedom. We are not only free. We must exercise the freedom. Make it strong if it's not free. If you don't exercise, they get weak. We're not about to bow down to no one at all. No personality, no family, no group. None of them. And none of them going to overawe us or make us intimidated. None of them. No group, no party, none of them. And that's what we must practice. Human beings must practice that more and more and get stronger and stronger. And make anybody in any official position who have money or who have any greater talent and ability just dress, dress down and just keep them place and just keep it real around the world. That's what the world needs more than anything else. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning. Morning, Jerry. What's going on? Yeah, I know. You, you, you see the display in the house yesterday. Never get to see it. Describe it for me. Well, now the opposition leader yeah. was asking some questions. Yeah. Where, in my opinion, you, 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 you can see that those questions weren't quite his original question, but young enough to absorb them and, and could have asked them forward. Yeah. And the longer it took, it, the, the more better he was getting at it. Yeah. Now, the questions are, you know, the O you are under the law now is responsible for both regulation and procurement. Yeah. The new Vin Lawrence scheme now, them part of them, them mandate them, so to speak, is to deal with procurement now. Yeah. Um, has a decision been taken or made or where is it that the OUR now out of the procurement, what is the position there? Well, here it is now. Yeah. The more time passes, the more you will be the last to know. The style of government where them set of people are deal with yeah. is to take care of business and do things and you will be the last to know. Yeah, but wait, wait. Listen to the part, yeah. The, dis the display now by Madam Prime Minister, as I said, I don't think the question them was so much on your original question because as some well thought out, well researched question. Yes. You see the same IDB who wouldn't touch the project. Yes. Who is who is an affiliate of the World Bank yes. slash slash the IMF. Yeah. That was a display in front of them yesterday you now. Yes. I keep telling them two party in Jamaica say them attack cross the way to them one another like it's only them one another matter of them own family business them yeah. are deal with. Yeah. And that not going to work anymore. No. So we shall see what we shall see what a fine display it was. Yeah. And we shall did see what we shall see, what we should have seen. Well, we shall see what we shall see. Well, Jojo. You know, the, 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 because I like the Paul with them not going to feel comfortable working with Paul with. The, the opposition leader asks her, who is, who is the points person now? She keep her, say, the cabinet. Yeah. And the minister, and, and, and it's not clear if the project was taken from the minister. And it's just another untidy mess. You know what happened now? Yes. None of them want to be accountable to the people. Let me go on like it's the, let me go on like it's the opposition and the, and, the, and the government party and give them one another trouble. Yes. None of them want to be accountable to the people. Exactly. No, but here is now. Them in the PNP, them always call Vin Lawrence God. Mm -hmm. Till people are take it for joke and more people take it serious. Apart from him, them are, them are making him a faith for them God. A God that is made with hands. Mm -hmm. Them are a little dictator, so I told you know, them, have a, them have a God with a false God. 
and a dictator where is a false head. And a the dictatorship over Jamaica, they want to solidify. Mm. I remember, you know, I heard them say so, and I don't hear nobody else say remember it, you know. When they were campaigning in about 2007 or, no, 2000, 1997 or 2002, 2002, me hear them talk about fourth term. And P.J. Patterson turned on the platform. You know, he really loved to turn on and talk to the people behind him on the platform. He's not too like to talk to the audience. He's always turn on and talk because they might support him. You know. So when he might look strength, just like in the parliament, he turned two sides to them support and I talk to them. They might talk to the people of Jamaica. They might talk ah. to them support and we'll boost them up. Same way they might cry, but not talk to the people of Jamaica. They might talk to him support and we'll boost them up. So P.J. Patterson took two sides on the platform in the night, 2002 and said, because everybody had about four terms. You know, all in for four terms. P.J. Patterson said, I mean, him said them in a PNP, I'm talking now. Them I talk about fourth term. Them I talk about fourth term. A 50 year me I deal with. So I know him have a plan. Them have a plan a long time to achieve 50 uninterrupted years of PNP control Jamaica. Not just now 18 and a half and, f and a fifth term like what Porsche was supposed to deliver on a fifth term to them. So that's why them have, some of them as God and them have, Dictator, you know the big horn and the little horn. You read about them in a Daniel and Revelation. The more them come, the more wicked are them intention. Well, thank you very much, yes, sir. Yeah, give Good morning, time. welcome to Straight Up, hello. Morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Go ahead, please. Hello. Yes, well, hello. hello. Yes, hello. Hello, Aman. Welcome, yes, man, you're on. Yes, I'm morning. Okay. Um, first time calling here. Yes, thank you very much. Um. From the other day, uh, I've been hearing um, you speak of, I mean, I'm, I'm growing up too. I've yeah. always heard of this Babylon, Babylon, Babylon. Yes, yes, so yes, yes. I come to, you know, we use it also. So I think Monday, Tuesday, I heard you mentioning that Babylon was a system. Yes, yes. Right? Yeah. So if it's a system, I mean, could we kind of, Open it up some more and find out who are the orchestrators of this system. The orchestrators, the, the world power, the world powers, the, the world powers, the super rich and the super, super ambitious politician and super ambitious religious leader. Religious leader, political leader, money leader, combined in a Babylon system for hold the world forever. It has been going on for some time now, it won't go on forever. But what I'm saying is it devised by in particular with a person, group of people, race. Is it a system that runs all the earth? Who would you bring? No, it's not run all the earth, you know. It, it, it ambition is to control all of earth forever. That's an ambition that it has had for thousands of years. It has been in control of most of the earth for thousands of years now, but not all the earth. And not forever. It has not been forever in the past. And it won't be forever in the future. But the ambition is to control all earth forever and ever and ever. Amen. In perpetuity. And um, it's been going on so long. You couldn't even, None of the present people present now is none of, is not the originators of it. They are just officers and inheritors and those on top of the system for the time being. Been, uh, been going on with, yes. Could we go to the point of finding out who... Uh, oh, you're looking for Satan? No, you know, um, we, we, well, we're looking, we're looking if, if we look at it metaphoric, yeah. then I would use that word because I don't really use yeah, it. Because yeah. I, I see it from a different angle. Yeah. But whether they want to Satan or the devil, as I'm saying, could we look to see at the forefront who was the thought behind it? You mean originally? Original, yeah, and it, if also it has peripheral systems, yeah. maybe like the miseducation system. Yes, yeah, so I listen here now, listen here, listen here. Yeah, you hear me now? Yeah, you hear me? Like yeah, you hear me now? I am, yeah. not a, I am not a conspiracy theorist who, who theorize and build up and tell you where everything coming from one time. But l from long, long time ago, the ambitious people, the over ambitious people on earth, link up together long long time it's not no one individual the over ambitious and over craven people nerd link up together long time and have been successfully dominating and controlling most of the resources and the space and the earth and most of the arms and everything on the earth been going on a long time but it will not be forever 
and they have never at any time controlled the whole earth and all the population of the earth. So no matter for it. But when oh, we have more time, when we have more time, we can go in night more. A day like today, when we have to share with the phone call, we can spend much more. Maybe one day even come in the studio, I mean, you reason about it, you wouldn't like that. No problem. Well, okay, you can leave the number half of the year and keep calling and make we discuss about it. One day, Ja willing, we will be in here dismantling Babylon. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank you very much. Good. Thank you very much. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Jerry. Yes. Jerry, what's wrong with you? You never have me, so you can't tell what's wrong with me. Listen to what me I said, Jerry. Yeah. You know what I'm telling you? You come in like a. You know where you come in like. I don't even know what to say. I know you don't know. You feel you easy yourself. Yeah, man, you are a yeah, pussy cat, pussy cat. Ah, yeah, but we still love you, but you're a pussy cat. Yeah, man, I use this stuff. Sh shaving cream, yeah, man. Yeah, Jerry, you feel easy yourself. Oh, you have to disrespect. The Prime Minister supposed people for disrespect. Your wife. What? Yeah? What? What? Oh, my... for this first disrespect. Your wife. How, the how... woman, the woman of her husband, you know. And the woman, husband, here, yeah, takes it from the woman every day. I compare him wife with other woman and all them things there. Your wife don't look good like the Prime Minister, Jerry. Yeah, idiot. And that, may I tell you, your yeah, wife idiot. don't look good like the Prime Minister. Yeah, idiot, and your man. wife now don't like what the Prime Minister has done. So all the Celine and all the Ray Ray Ray, them supposed to look good because them young and strong. But yeah. we know say your wife not look good like the president. Alright, stop now, stop now. Alright, alright, what are what are looking? What are looking now? Hear this now. Hear this now. The first to comments with from my wife, a uh, sixteen year old. She top born her head. And that alone make the prime minister can't compare with my wife. Hold on, no, hold on, 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 keep, 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 hey, cut her, 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 Convince a lot of young women to stop straightening them here and to look like themselves from just 16 year old. And then now, uh, I never bring in no comparison between my wife and Prime Minister, but this lady here bring it in now. I call her lady as a formality. I want to call her lady as a formality. Don't take me serious. Hello, my lady. Don't be insulted when I call her lady. I don't, I don't, I don't take it serious. It's just a formality. So now, Prime Minister, I would never compare the Prime Minister with my wife because she can't compare. Can't compare, couldn't compare. Otherwise, that wouldn't be my wife and I wouldn't have six children there. Couldn't come near. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Don't, hey, listen here now. Don't draw my tongue. I make a start off to tell you things. Don't draw my tongue. Better never mention that. Because, uh, don't draw my tongue. Good morning and welcome to Sima Petende. Yes, sir. <laughs> Greetings, brother Jerry. What go on, sir? Why, your, your girl not stop drawing your tongue, you know. <laughs> yeah, my girl can't draw my tongue, but I don't want the lady there. <laughs> the lady. To draw my tongue. <laughs> well, I'm not coming between you and the lady at all, my brother. No, <laughs> I you. I you to deal with no. that. Yes, sir, sir. <laughs> yes, man. Greetings, how are you, man? Fine, thank you. And the family? Fine, thank you. Very fine. We got the new stock family set speed, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I hear Bedrin. Um, yesterday was asking about the Satan theory. Yeah. And um, in your discussion, you mentioned the name Lucifer. Yeah. No, somebody text in and say, Lucifer, not in the Bible at all. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, I remember them, so. so. All right. Hold this one now. Yeah. How art thou fallen from heaven? Yes. Oh, Lucifer. Yes, sir. Son of the morning. Yes, morning star. How art thou cut down to the ground? Yes. Which didst weaken 
the nation. Yeah. Him did, I, him did, we, him who cut down to the ground did weak the nation. Not, yes. the, not the ground that did weak the nation. Truly, this is found in Isaiah chapter 14, yes. verse 12. I told me couldn't quote the chapter and verse and never dispute No it, problem, but, my but, but I know I did see it. Because I see, once, once I see it, I'm going to Yeah, my Isaiah, how much? 14. 14, Chapter cool. 14, yeah. verse 12. Yes, sir, thank you very much. And in the reference now, it said Lucifer, yeah. the star, can yeah. be none other than Satan. Them don't know say you swallow the Bible, you know? See? <laughs> and it says Satan, yeah. who, as prince of this world system, yeah. is the real true unseen ruler of the successive world powers. Yes, sir. Tyra, Babylon, Principality Media, and Persia, powers. Greece, yeah. Yeah. Rome, etc. Principality and powers and the rulers of darkness of this world. Yes, Rastafari. And then the only building I want. No. It, it, as I say, it's a combination. Yeah. So <coughs> it's a system. Yeah. You know, just like so, how... And you can supersize it. Yes, man. A combo. And, and you supersize it named Babylon. Truly, I say the work that we have is that we have to protect Mother Earth. Yes, sir. Now, for we protect Mother Earth, we have to protect nature. And nature is life. And it's the people, them, and the things therein that make up this life. Yeah, yeah. And that system is to destroy we. Yeah. And we are saying, no, it can't work because you put we now as the preserver. You know, sir, I've got care, I've got to get some lecture someplace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ma'am, I can't get out of St. Thomas. <laughs> All right. Because some people out there say they want some good lecture. And I want to big up the I program. Just recently, I'm going up on a corner. Yeah. I mean, some Christian people are reason. And they must say, the I program really opened them eyes to a lot of things. But they really couldn't really fathom for themselves. Well, I thank, I'm thankful for that. You thank know, so, th I want you to know, say, all the wild people are say. Boy, Jerry, you need help and Ray. I as I said to them, say, listen to me, a thousand zawi. Thousand, a thousand. And enough are we out there and yeah. the reality and, is and, 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 and some of them is called by other names. Truly. Yes, some of them called by other names that you knew not, that them knew not of them there. And what people must realize is that listen to me now. In my father's house. Yeah. You know what? Mansion after mansion. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Give thanks some praise, man. Yes, good morning, welcome. We have some guests now, but good morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Good morning, Mr. Swan. How are you? Fine, thank you. What I'm calling about is um, how the, you have a person in Jamaica, you have a retirement age, yeah, right? Yeah. I think the retirement age for female is 60. Yeah. And the retirement for male is 65. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to get that way around. If I don't know my glass much longer than the man. <laughs> and um, when you look at it, the leaders, the governments, right? Yeah. They realize that um, they pass all 65 and forget about retirement age. Yeah. So I was wondering why some of these leaders don't um, follow um, the retirement age of 65 and 60. More money, more money. They want more money. Uh. So why the law must be for um, teachers and all of these workers in this country and them can't abide by the law? Because them say them is the highest court in the land. Yeah, and we have so many educated people at the university yeah. who could do some of these um, inquiries, them giving these so much senior people to do these big inquiries and paying them big well, Nothing is wrong with the inquiry, you know. Mm. But what about giving some of these uh, younger people in the university N no. who have these degree to look after these um, inquiry? No, because you are thinking in the best interest of the public and so on. They are not thinking in the best interest of the public. They are thinking in their self-interest, their clique of them self-interest. Clique. Yeah, because when you look at it, none of these government, they're not, um, they don't, not looking out for the, 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 um, the younger people. No, but let's know. Are you not aware that the, the so-called leaders of these two set of people, especially this one here, mm -hmm. that these parties that they are the leaders of are responsible for the murder of thousands of Jamaicans and, and non-Jamaicans? You're not aware of that? Yeah. Well, you don't need more awareness and of the, that. What, know, and and then, then get them more, more police. Yeah. And then kill them after? To guard themselves. Yeah. So this is the character that um, of these people that they hide themselves and try to disguise them deeds 
in necktie and suit. Hold on, in necktie and suit and in, and in design addresses and hairstyling. Thank you very much, yeah? Yeah. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Morning, Jay. Morning, welcome, sir. Yeah, man, I'm good I'm going to give you a talk. Uh, true, you know? true, true, true. Yeah, you are um, now. You know, um, we have a little article written by Professor Harris. Har Harris, yeah. Uh, from the university there. Nigel, and, Nigel Harris, the Chancellor. Yeah, by, yeah, by, by and Chandler. the Chancellor, and him, him referring to someone in Duna, you know, uh, yeah. that keep the university going. Yes. And I'm going to name out a few of them that he's instated, see? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He said the award of the multi-million dollar grant to the open campus mm -hmm. from the Canadian government. He said need the possibility of program expansion by distant reality. Yeah. No. Some of the GM, the, the donors, then he said with generous support from the organizations such as the American Foundation, where you know the gay lobbyists them control. Yeah. You at to the UWI, the British Foundation. We know the we know the the gear them control, and the Canadian Gala Committee. No, you see why Professor Bean can't really go and talk about uh, this professor that empire. You know because he get all of this support from all of these countries that keep the university going. And all of these countries support no. the legalization of gear. No, Jamie, no, Caribbean people keep the university. Going, but yes. these but these different donors keep the university going their way. Yes, their way, and financially too, and financially too. Yeah, that's what I mean, their way. Yeah, and financially too. Yeah. So you see why um Professor Bean, uh, 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 he, he cannot keep Professor Bean because these organizations dictating to him. Yeah. Yeah, you know, obviously because they must give the grants and all the funds and keep it financially going. But him don't hide it. Him don't hide it. No, he don't hide. Yeah, and it don't hide it. You know, all right, that's one aspect of it. Let's see, we are in um, virtual white man, same up a university there. Yeah. Lord help us, more indoctrination. Yeah. All right, let's go through. Last night in the parliament, there was the prime minister. You remember my brought up the thing about Bill Lawrence a couple of weeks ago? Yeah. I mean, he discussed that, see, sir? Yeah. And um, he resurfaced last night in the parliament now about the, the energy thing. Yeah. Right? I'm going to say, uh, Andrew Wallace posed a question to... You have to be quick. You have to, to, you have to be quick. Minister. Yeah, you have to be quick. You only have 30 seconds. Yeah, all right. He, he posed a question to the Prime Minister. And the Prime Minister, <laughs> look for Andrew Wallace, he says, this day, and shun him so way, and go on and saying, all he's interested in is working, working, working. You know, you know, it's like the, 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 the country is their private business. Yeah. And the public uh, have no reason to know what happened in Parliament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, you know, I know, time time completely up. Yeah, I'll catch up with you. Thank you very much, Yeza. Let's go for a break. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. We have, um, we have some bridging here. They were, um, they were here last week, you know. Go and give them a few more minutes. Bridging from the Judah Coptic Church. Uh, bridging, what are we Yes, sir. Yes, brother Jerry. Give thanks. And Reintroduce you, yourself sir. again. That, that short intro. Just give your name. Yes, plumber. Yeah, man. From Royal Ethiopian to the Coptic Church. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, hear me now. What you can do for the people? Em? Yes. Well, it's not what I can do, is not what I the see the plumber. Yeah, but when, no, we're not about his majesty and the broad thing now. We're okay. talking about the Judah Coptic Church. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. yes. What Tell I what can you, do now is what to... What the Judah Coptic Church can do. Yes, to reassure the bridges them out there now who are long stalwarts of Judah, to reassure all of them to um, who have heard, not heard of from us since for a long time, since we have taken a leave of absence, for the, since the passing of the Abuna Blackheart. Uh, so it's seven years now since that time, so the seven year period where we show respect. So this spiritual revival had come to await the nation. This is well, why we need some specific thing. I really and really know these things there. People need people need um is a reason why you have church and you have synagogue and you have mosque and all different things. You know? Cause people need yes. strengthening. So this is where I said. Yeah, but life. but we can but we only have a few minutes. So generally speaking, what plan? Yeah, what is the plan now? What 
to do for, for the people yes the true the true plan now is to make a theocratic government be seen here in action in the island of jamaica now how you going to get a, a theocratic government that, in jamaica now? that will happen when the 96.4 percent of jamaica people who is of african descent now yeah. Must assume their responsibilities. No, but now. how are you going to get them to do it? Huh? Bye. That's why we are here and we are with you now, brother yeah, Jerry. How are you going to get them to assume their responsibility? Okay. By spreading the message and teaching the All way. right, then. Now, when you spread the message and them coming around, how are you going to harness that? Well, we will harness that by each person assuming their personal responsibility, knowing yeah. that... Well, you see through time shot, you have to talk plain and straight. What the PNP do and what the JLP yes. do. You well, yes. no, I'm, I'm talking, man. Mm -hmm. What the PNP do and what the PNP and the JLP do. Once people start listening to them, how them harness that listening when people start listening to them. Them, them find people in a different area, them in a different community, and them send them up to the people, them choose if they want that one, and some of them get elected. Mm -hmm. You going to do that? Yes, man. This yes, is okay. this is a natural process that must take yeah. place. Cause. All right. That means uh, that that means that you are one of the Rastafari. We're not afraid of um, political. No, I. Well, uh, but I don't don't talk. Yes, sir. Yeah, the people can't know me, sir. Truly. You are one of the Rastafari brethren. We don't afraid of discussing political representation. No, I. Exactly. We so afraid because of we need people to stop afraid of them things. Yeah, we are not afraid. Stop of afraid. No, we are not afraid of that. So we are here now to. Kindly ask the people now, how long are they willing to go through this separation yeah. and degradation? Yes, but you said that now, you said talking them question and thing, you're not going to get much done in the few minutes we have. Yes. What you want people to understand if you, if you want people are really serious, so you have to get a talk. Which are the, where are the bridging? You have bridging in a different parish? Yes, we have bridging in many different parishes. What about sistering? Bridging and sistering, we are calling upon the sistering. Then how you come here the second time now you don't bring no sistering? Well, that's true, brother Jerry, but um, I can assure you that the word is out. Now, I reach now if you're not a sister. No. That is very true, brother Jerry. You think PNP could have reached now without sister? I know they could reach. What about anyway. JLP? You think JLP could have reached now without No, sister. we are telling the world if no, you don't no. have the sisters and of yeah. our and the Muslim, mothers of the nation. And the Muslims couldn't reach now without sister. Yes, so we are calling on all Jamaican women to assume their responsibility. But they're not going to listen to you if you don't come with a sister next time. Yes. And she in a talk. Yes. People now, sister, now are listening. Well, I can assure you the next time I'm here, yeah. I will be here. Yeah, God, I allow you to talk more. Every, all, all different group of yes. people have certain things to say. I'm willing to allow them, you know. Yes. Not just Rasta. And we are happy that you have allowed them. That person wants to say something. Yes. So, one representative can speak. Come on, quiet, man. Don't, don't waste the time. Let me. Yeah, morning, brother and sister. No, what you just say? I have to film one bridge and alone. That's why I get, as you may get that right. now. No, yeah. Lord, Lord, Lord. Yeah. Greetings. Yes, sir. My name is Just Aston Alfonso, Aston Davis, yeah. and I represent the Judah Capture, but I don't represent the Jew political alone, but you are, are religious others, including political, if it is necessary still. But I say Judah Capture is, is for the, the nation and people worldwide. Yeah. See? Uh, um, for, 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 for black people in our world, worldwide, not even call about the, the world. So them for How you got interested in it? How, how come? How me get interested? Yeah, in it. Because I'm no Abuna, black heart. Okay. Um, Abuna White, it was his name. Yeah. And him say that church it open right. And you get like, involved. Okay, yeah. nice. Kaiban, I grew in a constituency. Which part? Waterhouse. Okay, yeah, long time you see. Yeah, I know the Abuna. All right, tell me something now. You know that if you're going to attract people, support, and if you're going to do good for people, yeah. you have to have some rules. Uh -uh. Not true? Surely. Uh -uh. So, well, I'm going to talk to that man. You have to have some rules, not true? Yeah. Yeah, you know, if I sit down and make some rules, then, then what you agree upon and what must be done and how to be and how long you can sit down in a seat and say, you have to sit down and make them rules. Eh? To uh, the church? No, any set of rules. Eh? Any set of people going to do anything for the people. You have to have a set of rules that govern the, the behavior of everyone. No, oh, you're going with me no, with I, man. No, I don't want you about I, man. I ask you about a set of rules. Say, That's yeah. what I ask. Yeah. No, don't tell him what to say. Is it, if you have to tell him what to say, it's foolishness. You, 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 you decide to make a set of rules? Because only a set of rules can make people move forward. You know? My rules, my way I make. Yeah. If you say, I and I is from the, um, it, you, uh, our Ethiopians, and we, we accept the concept of another real concept no you're not ready yet for the book of rules who represent no, well, all black well, people all right, no, no, all right. time shot you come back to that yeah. yes sir yeah, man. well 
These you have to make a set of rules. You know? These rules is very important because nothing can be done without such agreement. Agreement. Not, no, not, nobody hire nobody no or me dominate. Yes. Agreement. Agreement across the board where we have a, 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 a collective yes, security. Yes, each sir. one protecting each other and living up to the rules and regulation of what we plan and organize for. Yeah. This is the only way it can be done. Yeah. So we are nudging the people now. It's not going to be easy. Yeah. But we as... We are not even so educated like how people are so educated. You're, you're like you are reading my brain. I was See? just going to say something to Mr. Black, yes. Mr. Blackwood. Yes, hold on Mr. a minute. Black. Just one minute there, brother Jerry, please. Yeah. And, um, but we are people who see that the harvest is ripe and therefore those that are well educated who are sleeping on the job we are just doing the work now to call them to action yeah, yeah. and to make them that are more educated now. Yeah, because the, the people who are not educated they have more courage doing it. Yes. Although they don't have education they have more courage. That's, that's why I admire them. I admire educated people now, yes. but the uneducated usually have more courage. Yes. So the two of them balance one another. Yes, even since the last time we was here, there yeah. are certain critics that said we are intelli not intelligent. So I'm saying to them, seeing that we are not intelligent and you are well intelligent, yeah. come and show us. Yes. So that we, with the enthusiasm of ourselves, being not intelligent, yes. who go out there to start their yes. duty, yes. then we'll be more workable and working with better spirits. Exactly. So, we're calling on our brothers yeah, and but sisters. still have to give me a chance to reason, Mr. Blackwood. Yes. You yeah, hear me, Mr. Blackwood? Yes, brother Jerry. Yeah, man. You send any of your children to school? Yes, brother Jerry. That's a, a great, that's great. That's the whole idea. Uh, what I can do, I will send my children to learn. Yes, go ahead, go ahead, Mr. Blackwood. Yes. That's exactly what I said to you, sir. For you to move forward, you have to start agree on some rules. And uh, two things, you know, some rules are to govern our behavior with one another. And some aims and objects, what we plan, what we plan to achieve. Two things, you know, what we plan to achieve and uh, how we must behave yeah. in, our rules, in our rules with one another. That's right, brother Jerry. So now, if you now gather a couple of sisters, you're not going <coughs> strong. You see, if, you see, if you gather a couple of sisters and bring, bring come here. Yeah. The things where you want to say, like, while you talk more fluent, you know, just no, because no. you gather them. You see, if your sister is there with you, okay. that automatically you start talking more fluent. Okay. Just like how the male forgather the female, we the educated one forgather the educated one. Because mm. them say we're not educated, you know, but yeah. we have courage. Yes. Okay. So now we have to gather the one, them now we're educated, because yes. them have education and skill. Mm. But so, most of them not have no, no well, courage. Well, we have the courage, the courage. although we are not educated. Yeah, we so we gather what we don't have. No. Bring in what we don't have. Yes. We, we don't have female sex organ and female niceness and ge de gentleness. Yes. So we gather them. Yes. Man gather woman. Yes. And educated people gather educated. Yes. And you just go and gather till everybody is here. Yeah. So no make nobody underrated. No. no. One but, more minute you have. Yes, well, finally, no. I will talk fast. Yes. Yeah. All I'm saying is that all the house of Judah and loving people of Judah who know the responsibility of the house of Judah, come and assume your responsibility now. Come and help Judah to put in place this theocratic government called by Eile Selassie in him. You can't, hold on, I'm going to tell you again. You can't get no theocratic government till you start make some set of rules how to govern your present little The rules are no, no, already no, no, there, no. brother. Jim. No, it can't already do it. The people have to participate tonight. Nobody yes, make, of course. Yes, Bongo Blackheart rules with him make and left. Nobody make go under that. Present people. Yes. To make present rule. Last word, Damande. Uh, yeah. You have a quick, 30 seconds you have. Greetings. Yeah. Aston, Ross Aston Davis again. Yeah, man. 30 seconds you have. I'm saying, what I'm saying, the, the, the church is, is, the church, do the Catholic church is represent everyone, all nations, all, all one around the world. And is everyone just gets to come and find a location and get themselves and represent because the colon they, they, they are in religion you have the Jews, the Greeks and, and the Muslim in religion so yeah, you see the short time where we have? His yes. Majesty say? Yes, yes, the short time when we get yeah. 30 seconds yeah. Yeah. you have to learn to use it better so if you go into them general argument there not okay. going to get through it's like you get 30 seconds you have to... not about yes it, but me I tell you no, no, it's it done, it's done, done okay next time again but that time you know you have to go away like Bolt and like a Safa Powell and Shelly and, and train and coach and don't take 30 seconds for around the 100 meter. Judah, the beginning of the Straight up, we'll go up your brain. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. We're going to take some more phone calls. But we're going to read some text messages in the meantime. So you can go on phone in, please. 
Because we have about 12 minutes left. First text message. Jerry, did you know the PNP party is the main group in Jamaica? This is the main gay group in Jamaica. No. I know say that. Although I hear big ranking people in the PNP say that one time. But I don't I don't say that. I said I'm of the support of those groups, but I never said them as a main gay group. I, I, I wouldn't say them as a main gay group, no. But I know them of the support of, of, of the international gay lobby, but it's two different things. PNP take money from gays to win election with the promise to give them the run of our boys. PNP is a gay party in Jamaica and JLP mad. No, I wouldn't agree with that. Not because something is near don't mean it's the same thing. Next one. Bongo, I respect Mr. Holness to stand up like a man. But after that, it get con the text message get confused that the lady couldn't even finish writing it. You get confused. That's what happened when you just deal with straight politics, you know. You will get confused and not express yourself properly. Not beating you down, you know. Me encouraging you. Next one. Bongo, what is the difference between heaven and hell? Heaven and hell is concepts. Heaven is a concept of better place where foolishness not gone. Nothing wrong not gone. Heaven. It's a concept. Uh, hell is a concept of a place where pure bad thing go on. Now because it's pure bad thing go on, it might have a close resemblance to earth. But earth is not hell. Uh, earth is not heaven. It's two, it's two concepts. It's better consult to the people who wrote about those concepts. Because a man write them concepts, you know. And a God write them, you know. A man write about heaven and hell. Man and woman. Next one. Mr. Jerry, Andrew was the real man yesterday. Portia was obviously clueless to his probes. And try to play it down with our usually evasive and sarcastic remarks. But you know, sir, I saw them, I saw them do. The cut and trust of the bait. None of the two of them take on the full plight of the Jamaican people. If them take on the full plight of the Jamaican people, them would lead the fight against oppression and against landlessness and lead the fight, the complete redemption of the people of Jamaica. What them doing is competing in a limited championship. Like two teams in a champs or two teams in a football competition. Idiot business that. None of them really ready to take anything. And any one of them get ready and take it on first before the other one. Would I get a vast support? But none of them, because they don't believe in themselves independent of Babylon. They believe in linking with Babylon. It's just my comments that. Next one. Is Jerry is the Prime Minister puppet. It seems as if, as if a ventriloquist is controlling a ventriloquist is somebody who can make them voice sound like it gone far. And them talk over here and make a puppet over there seem like it's them talking. Well, she's not completely a puppet, you know. Because um, the, the arrangement where PJ Patterson will lead a certain, part of the, certain aspect of the party and she'll lead the political movement. She's not really a puppet. But it's an arrangement where she lead the political fight and then him will lead certain tactical and strategic things. I wouldn't call her a puppet. But she is a mascot still. You, ma you know mascot to them put up front. Next one. Bless up Jerry. Listening and learning so much. I like to hear that young lady from St. Elizabeth. So wise. Love her thinking. Keep up the good work. Next one. Jerry, go and put some uh, curlers in your hair. Your face. What? Your, your, your trace and carry feelings like tenement yard woman. Coming from Comrade F. Comrade for life. Oh. So I must go and put some curlers. Come and trace on. You know what burn you? Because we burn fire upon you. And we expose you. And we're not afraid to talk about you. Not afraid at all to talk about you and your corruption and your thiefiness. Yes, we're not afraid to talk about you, your corruption and your thiefiness. So you try to sarcastic. That's why we're not afraid to read this neither. We read it again. Jerry, go and put curlers in your ear. Your trace and carry feelings like tenement yard woman from Comrade for Life. Well, when I don't, when we don't expose you, and you rest of your comrade for life, them, you will see who for wear curlers. What burn you is that we don't afraid for talk and expose what is your nature. But thanks for the text message anyway, yeah? Good morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello? Hello? Good, yes, good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah. Yes. You remember, you see? Yes. When... Bruce Golding had his program where you could call him on Wednesday night, eh? Yes, ma'am. Well, that's what Bush are using on him. Talk, what? talk, I don't talk, talk, I work, work. That's what, what? Swing, using on who? Using on who? On, on the company. And uh, when she say, I don't talk, talk, I work, work. Yes, sir. Bruce always had the program where we were, there's a couple people are calling on him and talk to him. Yes. 
And that's why she say him talk talk and she's working. Yes. But you know she was she working on. No, what up? No, she 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 working for win election. She she um, will win she will win election. Eh? She win election, but she work for Mister Lobota and but to to saying that you come back in a favor. Possibly, that's yes, quite possibly. That's all we say. Yeah. All right. Have a good day, Jerry. Bye. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Are you there? Not ready. I want another one. Yes, so, um, we are not afraid. Yes, we have to have some people in afraid. And you know that we have them by the tens of thousands. Not afraid. What, what, what the politicians do? Them unite tightly and them organize as, as a business. The PNP is a business. The JLP is a business. The PNP is a better organized business than the JLP. So it's a business. So they organize on a few people. Um, they are few, but they organize well together. That's why they hold um, power and hold authority and hold all the teeth in goods. But um, we the people, uh, a vast number of us are unafraid of them. And no matter of fact, they know that they are in trouble. But what they're relying on is the physical force of Babylon and the force of money and them things. It can't work. Not going to work forever. It's great to be here. We have a call there now. Good morning. Welcome to the street. Up. Hello? Hello? Yes, move away from your radio, please. Oh, yeah, Mr. All right. Sorry, sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, go ahead, please. Yes, Jerry. No, is it you who did call me earlier? What? Is it you who did call me earlier? No. All right, go ahead. Jerry, yeah. you know what I'm saying? All right, stop right, stop right there. Stop right there, son. Stop right there. Yeah, you hear me now? Mm-hmm. Yes, as I say. Mm-hmm. My wife stops straight in her ear from... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, cut her out, cut her out, cut her out, cut her out. What list? Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. I was going to explain certain things. You know why you're not... She go out, she go one side. I wouldn't even get her my clothes to wash. You couldn't wash my clothes. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Are you there? All right, here what we're going to do. I'm going to thank Tanya Rich as my producer. That's true. I also want to thank my production assistant Shadi Walton and broadcast technician Kevin Williams. Because we have a piece of, a next piece of usual vibration music to play you now. It's name um what name again? Why worry? But let's see if we take this phone call. You ready? Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Yeah, Mr. Small, good morning. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I, wa- I just want to show you how the Jamaican people them um, bad mind against them one another. Yeah, yeah. Now, oh, you have a man who I walk through the city every day with a cash pot. Yeah. And I make so much money every day. And he set up so much outlet in the inner cities. Yeah. Draining every lane and every street of them $10 and them $20. Yes. And, and the common man who them say every day them can't come together and farm business outlet for the same money. Yeah. No, people are doing it. Don't worry yourself. People are doing it quietly and slowly. People are doing it. Are you there? Yes, Jerry. People are doing it. Don't worry yourself. All you need to do, not all, but some of what you need to do, find two or three, three, two or three people with which, with whom you can combine and and do some things on a small way. Start small. It will be great. Yeah, respect, yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Work is burning in the field, Jerry. Yes, sir. Work is burning in the field straight. Thank you very much for reminding me of that. Yeah, all the best. Yes, yeah. sir. I want to play now for you. Why worry? Same Israel vibration. Because we are not afraid. And we are not underpowered. Or undernourished or underfinanced. Everything will come. Why worry? Straight up. I went downtown just the other day. The other day. Night and day, night's day. 